milk, crate, marauder. Are aware of this, but David Letterman rarely misses his show. The last time he missed one of his shows was he had a heart attack or something. Yeah. But, uh, bypass surgery took him out for a while. Last night, for maybe the first time that I can remember, you were out sick, Dave, and are you feeling better? Yeah, I just, I, I, I apologize to all my fans. I, uh, uh, we just thought it would be better to have Adam, you know, do the show. Adam and, Sandler, yeah. yeah. And well, I'll you never are looking eat, uh, a little queer to me. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll never eat ass be... again, I'll tell you that. You would never what? I'll never eat ass again. All right, <laughs> is that how you got it? Now, i got to ask you something. Good morning, by the way. Good morning. Howard, I, now I heard that you're marrying Beth. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, didn't we talk about this on the show before? I mean, you know, that's crazy. She's a girl. You know, she has a vagina. Yuck. <laughs> Wake up, my brother. Penis. That's where it's at. That's what all the kids are doing. You are so great on this show. I mean, you're so edgy. Yeah. You know, you're willing to make fun Sorry. of your own sexuality and uh, all kinds of different things. I know, yeah. things he would never say on his show. Network TV is way different. And, Howard, by the way, I just want to let you know, I, I put chocolate frosting on my balls this morning, hoping uh, Artie would mistake them for cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> that is oh. cupcake Wednesday. That can happen. That's right. It's the most disturbing thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Your stomach virus is better? It's, it's, it's a little better. And, Robin, by the way, you know, I heard you're into uh, racing cars. Is mm -hmm, that right? Mm -hmm. That's true. And uh, how about, uh, you know, sitting on my belly and, and pretending my penis is a stick shift? <laughs> That'll make me feel better. Robin, what about it? <laughs> you know, it's a thought. Yeah. And, Howard, what, what's the deal with, with, you, with you Jews and money? What what's, do you mean? Well, I just, you know, I just don't understand it. You don't even get it. I don't get it. No, listen, you certainly are big with the money. What do you make, like $36 million? Uh, are a you year? a Jew? Yeah, well, no. Yeah, what's but, your deal with but, the money? But does anyone know uh, you know, where I can get a, a scary Mexican boy for under $20? <laughs> I think Fred would know that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, but he left the room. All right, well, Dave, I'm glad you're back, and uh, I'm glad it was nothing serious. I got nervous right away. I thought you had a heart attack. Well, it's just I'm, I'm okay now. I'm Good. about 90% now. And, Good. you know, I just got back from Florida a couple of weeks ago, and, and I've got to say that, you know, even dead, Anna Nicole Smith is a really good fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you had her, too? Yeah. I'm sitting here reading the... Uh, that's, of course, before I was sick. <laughs> you know, you know, Howard, uh, if I may just say something for a minute, I, I think blacks should go back to being called Negroes. Because Why? it has an old school... Uh, uh, classiness to it. Yeah, you like the Negro word. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. That's your vote. Yeah. All right, Dave. David Letterman, by the way, feeling much better for those of you who are fans yeah. of Dave. And and I haven't said the word. Uh, you know, I haven't said the N word since uh, ninety three. Is well, that right? What, are you yeah. on a medal? Will you stop saying it? Yeah, I just stopped saying it. Hey, good for you. Good for you. You know, Dave was involved in this uh, Michael Richards controversy because yeah, he had right. Jerry on, and Michael first made an apology yeah. on your show. That's right. And by the way, have, have they banned the N-word uh, yet here in New York City? Because if not, you know, there's something I need to say about Forrest Whitaker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> David Letterman, everybody, here on Satellite Radio, Sirius Satellite Radio. We're no, I, uh, you know, Howard, I, I, I don't see race. I, I see the person... Robin, you know, I'm not even aware that you're a, a medium-skinned black. I just see a brilliant and engaging newswoman. Medium-skinned. Yeah. Medium-skinned. Yeah. <laughs> I never noticed you were black. I didn't know I was medium-skinned. Uh, well, listen, he's a popular guy. He really is. Gay or not. Dave, you wish you had that kind of popularity. Oh, yeah. You know, let me ask you something. Is it is it legal for me to possess a, a photo of a hot, naked, nine-year-old boy? Uh, yes. If, if I am that boy? <laughs> if you're the boy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I want to tell you boy. something, too. I, I just want to say this, too. You know, I'm, I'm against interracial marriage. It, it's not natural. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and, uh, you know, Tachika. Right. Is that what you're going with? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sick. I'm sorry. Tachika. Yeah. Tachika. Yeah. How you been? All right. Yeah. I see you wearing the, the late night T-shirt. Yeah. Oh, always got to always got to push. You know. And by the way, I got a little poem for you. Let's see if this cheers you. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you saw the size of Paul Schaefer's penis, you'd be turned on too. <laughs> hey. Like, gross. The like dirt bag round table. Really. <laughs> Howard, let yeah. me ask you something now. What do you think smells worse, Richard Christie's mouth after not brushing his teeth for ten days, or you know Paris Hilton's twat after being banged after she bangs ten guys? Mm. Richard, <laughs> Richard, yeah, because yeah. the twat can clean itself. Yeah, there you go. I think. <laughs> yeah. By the Why way, are you calling I heard Richard that... a twat. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're saying Richard isn't as smart as a twat. <laughs> Howard, 
What? May, uh, David Letterman. Well, I'm uh, just Danny. saying, may I ask uh, Danny what he looks like? <laughs> well, why? Why do you well, he sounds like he has a, a nice big uh, fat cock. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He does, actually. Yeah. How David Letterman, show that, I can show that on the show, too. But uh, no. By the way, here's a picture of Sanjaya's sister in a Hooters yeah, outfit. Let me see her. Come on. Whoa. Hey, now. Holy shit. What do you think of that, Dave? Yeah. By the way, Howard, could one of the... Uh, <laughs> Interns bring me a, a young boy. Excuse me, I mean a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is After you show him Sanjaya's sister, he asks for a young, young boy. boy you go to the Hooters down south, and the chicks are right. up uh, several notches from the ones up north. Hey, right before Angie comes in, just real quick, uh, for two seconds, Martina Navratilova is on the phone, Robin's new best friend. <laughs> David Letterman's here, by the well, way. Excuse me, Howard, but, but isn't Martina a dyke? Oh, no, God. you don't say that. That's not <laughs> nice. No, I'm supposed to say lesbian. Yeah. Well, what, about the, what about the spell? What oh, about it? How, how do you get past that? Oh, uh, what? You never went down on a woman? No, no. And Martina, by the way, I, forgive me. This uh, guy's an asshole. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> by the way, Robin, quick request. Would you mind dropping your top and, and pressing your boobs against the window? Uh, uh, just after we get off the phone. Right. Martina, <laughs> let me t What do you think of this, Artie? Huh? You're so awfully quiet. You're quiet. Yeah. 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 I'm, I, look, I was happy for you when it happened. I, I, I just want to say to Angie that, that Howard, Howard is definitely a great lover. Oh, oh, David Letterman. Uh, David knows too. Yeah. <laughs> David, uh, have you ever had Angie on the? Uh, Angie, you've never been on the David Letterman show. Have I you? have. Oh, you have been. She's been on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and by the way, Robin, can I just say, uh, speaking of hot, you, you know, you look, you look very hot, and I just love to lock myself in your booth and, you know, sniff your farts. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. You can do that. <laughs> so much edgier. Oh, here. <laughs> Angie, you really did Howard, by the way. I really did. Oh, you're a Jew lover. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're aware that uh, they're... You mean he's not Italian? Thing, aren't you? I told her I was Italian. <laughs> oh, what, what, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't Italian. know. I don't know. I'm not feeling well. I'm so sorry. now, what do you? Think? It's, it's nice to hear from women that, that yeah. say that. You know. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is good. Hey, wait a second. This, what this do you is the Howard. It? I'm sorry, but this is the Howard Stern show. Let's see some skin. Fred, take off your shirt. Ah. <laughs> Angie. Dave, you've changed. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got stomach. You're a man. <laughs> wow. Fred looks good. <laughs> yeah, right. You can start crying. If By you the way, to. Howard, can I ask something? Not crying. You're not going to cry? No. Yeah. Oh. Is, is it shit? Is, hey. What is it, David? Well, I had a romantic say, moment. Is it possible for a man to get a yeast infection? I, I'm itching and have a slight discharge. Yeah, but we'll talk about that in a minute. That's right. fun to sit next to. That's Sorry. gross. <laughs> Rob is uh. discharged. <laughs> Trust me. Sorry. What, was that you, Dave? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. stomach virus. And by the way, stomach it's stomach virus. Right. <laughs> and it's like I always say, Howard, I hate the Jews, but I do love bagels. All right. Yeah. Good for you. He says that every two seconds. I don't understand what half of what he says. He says he doesn't like Jewish people, but he loves bagels. Oh, he likes thank your you. food. All right. Listen, Angie. Price by the there. way, uh, Disgusting. Oh no, Dave! Uh -oh. You have something what else to say. What is it, Dave? Stop! No, I, I just, I just want to know her stance on, uh, you know, um, uh, Puerto Ricans. <laughs> what is your stance on? I like. Dark hair. I, I think they're dangerous. <laughs> You, you think, think they're, they're dangerous? <laughs> 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 I make some excellent points. I don't go off. Right. Well, this was Dave fun. is funny on this show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sick too. I know. Yeah. You are sick. Yeah, you must be lightheaded. <laughs> I'll introduce yeah. you to Dave Letterman over there if you want. <laughs> well, she's actually, Dave Letterman beautiful. doesn't like me. Uh, Dave, no? you don't like her? No, as you say, she's very beautiful. But you know, my my favorite sexual position uh, is a woman on her stomach uh, with a cock in her ass <gasps> and. Just before I come, I, I rape her really hard on the back of her oh neck and, and makes that clinch up really tight. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. I'm so glad. <laughs> but she's definitely easy on the eyes, and, and you're very lucky. Man. Oh, thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Howard, can I just say something just once and for all about this Angie thing? I, I, I just wanted to tell Angie I wasn't mad. I, I just wanted to rape you. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a very uh, that, uh, That's not funny. That makes me feel better, doesn't it? Don't get the soft rape. <laughs> soft rape. There's no such thing. That is oh straight you give the guy a hand job, yeah, you know, <laughs> 50 grand, yeah. I was just going to say, if Angie had a penis, you know, she'd be perfect. Right. Yeah. If she had a penis, she'd be perfect. God, if I had a penis, I'd yeah. never be bored. Jim. No, <laughs> Dave Letterman told me I'm a lucky man. Yeah, very, she, you're very lucky. I'm lucky, right? And even even me being sick, she looks good. Dave <laughs> was, was smitten. Yeah, yeah you, were, you were really in I, I almost lost it again, yeah. Again? Yeah. <laughs> I've got stomach flu today a little bit. All right. That's yeah. right. That's where you missed your show last Howard, by the way, can I just say something? I, I hear Eric uh, the Midget uh, wet his bed. Yeah. You know, God damn, that's hot. I'll pay good money to wallow in those sheets. <laughs> Hi, Liz. You're on the air in Redwood. <laughs> Hi. Um, you all right today, Artie? You seem a little uh, down. No, why? Down? No, no, you look a little down. Something happened? 
He's probably getting sick from me. That might be yeah. it. Is, is Dave bringing Howard, you, you down? Know, I hear, I hear Artie wants to sleep wake, uh, eat like a slob, and still accept, you know, expect to be paid. He's not depressed. He's Scott the Engineer. Hey! Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. I get depressed when the cupcakes are down to like only two. Oh. You know, Howard, I was I was going to make a joke about Eric the Midget, but I don't want that little fucker to rub me out. <laughs> right. You got to be careful. Yeah. Uh, what are you working on today, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it could be the bag effect, Howard. That's right, Dave. Yeah. Thank you for that. Your hair looks good today, buddy. Like you meant that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I got that Dennis the Menace look going for me. Yeah, you look good. You look good. Uh, what what uh, what else are you were covering there, Steve? Uh, David Letterman was too sick to perform last night, but that didn't stop Evil Dave from doing his thing here today. We'll see how Dave is holding up and how he manages to find the precise moments when to chime in with his cutting edge wit. Yeah, I don't think there's any signs to it. But go ahead. <laughs> Married. Yeah, God, you I did. hate winers. You hate winers. I, why? I, I was living in this attic. Why? All I can do is is write in this diary. What? I just hate those whiners. Are you referring to Anne Frank? Yeah. As a whiner? Yeah. Wow, I lived in an attic. Anne later is a wino. Yeah. Wino? <laughs> he mis he mispronounced why. Why? I don't think that was possible. I said why. He said why. Uh, he said why. I'm sorry. Why? All I know is. Hey, Sonny, you're on the air. Go ahead and say hi. Yeah, hey, what's up, Howard? Hey, now. What, what the hell is wrong with Evil Dave today? What do you mean? I, I'm under the weather, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. You suck. That's why I'm saying. No, you suck. I'm, I'm trying to be polite. And, and, and coincidentally, do you ever think uh, the blacks might be behind this whole global warming thing? You why know, they can you withstand say that? A, uh, they can withstand a lot higher temperatures than us regular Americans. Oh. Sonny, why do you say that? Listen to Evil Dave's. Uh, did, did you hear that? Theory. Did you just hear that joke? Or why do you think I'm saying Are you I kidding? That was terrific. Yeah, wonderful. He's, he's way, he's like way on fire. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I How love about it. that Richard Jenny uh, suicide? Yeah. You know, that really depresses me, Howard. And, and then, you know, I remembered he's a nobody. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> man. God. I told it to Dick <laughs> Jenny is a good alibi. <laughs> Well, all right. Uh, I'm sorry you're not enjoying Dave. But, no. uh, By the way, where is Sal, Howard? Sal? You know, when I beat my girlfriend, I want to know a good way of, of doing it without hurting my hands. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you how about Evil Dave. He's wearing, he actually wears a Letterman T-shirt in yeah. here. I know. That was Vinny's idea. You know what's bad? I saw this guy's face, and like before I, I thought of Dave, but now we just have his like albino face stuck in my head. Yeah. I don't think of Dave anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that was a mistake showing his face. Right. right. Who did that? Yeah, that was I dumb. look like Edgar Winter, don't I, sir? Yeah. yeah. I don't know who the hell Edgar Winter is. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, th that happens to be a good reference. Thank you. Thanks. All right. There's a guy who's not a fan of David Letterman. No. I'm sorry, Dave. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> you know, Howard, I, I joined uh, Scientology. I'd Scientology? Kabbalah. I'd even get an electric car, but I refuse to adopt a black. They're, they're really cute up to the age of three, but then after that, they're very dangerous. <laughs> Scientology. How do you say that religion? Scientology and Kabbalism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Gilbert here? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> okay. All right, that's enough. I'm sick. Give me a break. <laughs> By the way, Robin, are you sure you don't work for UPS? Because I saw you checking out my package. All right. Thank Very you. Funny. You, know, you know what Katie oh, Kirk yeah. needs to, to uh, do to jumpstart her ratings? I was thinking about this the other day. Start each broadcast by banging a black guy. And I don't mean a Justine uh, Greeny uh, black. I, I'm talking about a real black with dark, dark skin, a 70s afro, and, and a big, uh, thick, juicy horse cock. And that'll get Why people do you guys again. give him Justin Quarry? <laughs> Are you telling me that you think that uh, yeah, Katie Kirk should blank, bang a black man? I think so, to get the ratings up for wow. CBS, which, All by right. the way, stands for constantly bombing sitcoms. Oh. All right. Ooh, bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> Dave, you're biting the hand that feeds you. Yeah, I'm mad. Just hey, mad. Can I Why are you mad? I'm what sick. Is, you're sick. You're yeah. sick with the virus. He's sick. He's sick. That's his go-to line. Yeah. Well, he, 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 he saw he couldn't do a show last night. Are you going to be there tonight? Huh? You're here. Well, if I don't gonna... up here, I will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got there, Robin? <laughs> you got to watch Artie when Evil Dave sits next to him. It's the greatest show on the planet. He just clams up. He rolls into a ball. It's like, oh, no. By yeah. the way, we're talking about my show. You know, I just had John McCain on my show, and i got to tell you, I'd like to put my uh, cock in his tiger cage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm yes. feeling better. Hey. hey. You're on a roll here. Yeah. Uh, Constantly FDA. bombing sitcoms. Yeah. Well, we Stephen. Point. Hey. Area, I heard that 
<laughs> Dave, who plays Dave Letterman, has a yeah. new girlfriend. Uh, really? You're yeah. kidding. He got another girl. Yeah. That's, it's like finding out Jay Leno uh, secretly supports the Taliban. Come on. No, wait, wait, wait. To be Dave. To be Dave. Be right whoever you are. Be now. whoever you really are. Oh, <laughs> who are you dating? Huh? How'd, you, how'd you meet a girl? Oh, John Hines will get it out of me. What do you mean, how do I meet a girl? What, what, no, where did you meet this girl? I don't mean how. I, you, you know, I, I, I've known her off and on. What really? do you mean you've known her off and on? Huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I'm not throwing up. I've known her off and on. And, and you know, the nice thing about it is you know, people say I look so good. But, you know, the reason I'm looking so good is because lately I've been sick. So, No, no, no. Dave, Dave, I, I, I don't, do, you want, do you mind your last name on the air? Uh, you don't want to spoil okay, it. Okay, all right. So Dave, Dave, the guy who's sitting here. Who wants yeah. a real creep? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where did, the albino-looking guy. How, did you, well, how long have you been going out with this girl? Uh, just friends. Yeah. Just he was divorced. Family. But you, but you told someone that you're seeing her as a girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. How'd you meet her? And how long? Huh? How'd you meet her? Uh, I just, I don't know. I met her at a speakeasy. I don't know. No, where, where'd you meet her? I just you know, at that I, bar you go to. Huh? Is she at that bar you go to? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> one in, that, that one in Little Italy, Robin. That's right. That place you're carousing. Why are yeah. you uh, being so tight-lipped about that? Yeah. What's going on? Well, it's just, you know. Afraid the trying proper. to get some money to, you know, financially, uh, you know, make him make him interested in me. I don't know. What? I thought this Financial girl, maintenance. Remember we talked about yeah, that? Yeah, but is she interested in you? It, it's kind of lukewarm. Yeah. She what? gave me a nice little uh, traveling briefcase this time. I'll, I'll give her that as a gift. For real? Yeah, that's a good sign. So you're seeing her. How often do you go out with her? <laughs> oh, just for lunch. <laughs> when a girl gives you a travel briefcase, I means she wants you to go away. Yeah. <laughs> Take a hint. Oh, a little police. One of those little Here's police. Here's a passport. Things. That's right. How long ago? Afghanistan she... to recruit cab drivers. <laughs> Have you been intimate with her? Huh? Have you been intimate with her? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You had sex? I guess you'd call it that, yeah. Yeah. You put your penis in her? Yeah. No, really? Yeah, she likes Edgar Winter, How old a person is what? this? How old a person? She's about uh, two years younger than me. Okay. How old are you? She's not a nine-year-old, but you know. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Yeah, uh, 47. Are you? Yeah. You're younger than me? Yeah. Holy wow. God, but this show gives me a lot of gray hair, so I look older. So, you know. Yeah. You're 47? Yeah. Mm. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. Good Lord, he's 47? Yeah. I thought he was close to retirement. <laughs> I think he well, is. on this show, I'm getting there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying about money? Huh? You need more money well, I remember, for her? I remember Howard made a case one time that, you know, when you, when you have a relationship, what was it you said? Uh, there's a lot of... Financial maintenance involved. Did yeah, you not say that? That's true. And, and it is what, true. Uh? Someone told me the girl's a big fan of the show. Is that how you, like, she got interested in you because she, she found that you're Dave I Letterman? I think I owe a little to you on that, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What so what say? do you do? You go hang out at that place and you yell that you're on the Howard Stern show? Yeah, and then we go to lunch and then I yell <laughs> some more for bad service. <laughs> That's right. All right, why don't we, why don't we, we're not yeah, getting anywhere. I think anymore. the news is more interesting than my, you know, no, it ain't. Up. First of all, happy birthday, Rosie O'Donnell. It's her birthday today. How old is she? 45. Eh? All right. She's a little bit younger than Evil Dave. Yeah. Yeah. How about a Venusian or Riley Martin? What do you think? A Venusian? Or Riley Martin. All right, come on, come on. You let Robin do yeah. it these days. Uh, there was another dust. <laughs> well, yes, what is Howard, your day, I was just going to say, you know, I, I got a new tattoo that looks just like Ronnie. I, I drew a goatee and glasses around my asshole. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Just remember, I'm not feeling well today. All right. You know, Howard, I can find little boys by their scent. Seriously. <laughs> You're like a dog. That's right. right. Thank you, Dave. They should have called David. Yeah. He I can tell Dave by his scent. Right <laughs> is, oh, is he ripe today? Oh, oh, oh. Don't is compare he, me with Richard Christie, for I'm God's sake. Is he ripe today? Uh, yeah, no, he sounds like <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the breath. Oh, really? it's, it's killing me. Yeah. Uh, is it bad today? Uh, oh, yeah. I can't breathe around him. How do you date this broad? Huh? With the breath issue. Well, I get tips from Richard Christie. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got bad breath over there, Dave? Huh? You got bad breath? Huh? Yeah, house ketosis, <laughs> gingivitis, I don't know. <laughs> do you have gingivitis? Huh? <laughs> what's that? Huh? It's a, it's a nervous thing he does. Watch it. What's with the chicken, Dave? Huh? Yeah, I got to be careful about uh, that. <laughs> oh, you yeah. think if you talk about her, she might go away? Yeah, I'm gonna have to borrow Richard's toothbrush. I guess I'm sorry. Don't you remember we asked him and he just went, man, yeah, privacy issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> privacy issues. Privacy issues. I signed a waiver. He is? Somebody's is, looking for him. Is the Inquirer gonna jump on this story? I don't know. I got to get out of that release form. See. <laughs> what is it, Dave? Come on. I went down on a, on a colored naked. Uh, what? I went down on a colored naked. 
naked. Uh, yeah. Where where is he reading? I went that? down on on a, on a collared. Uh, yeah. Collared. Yeah. All right, listen, I think we're done. Yeah, Where's naked? We are done. Yeah, we're done. You're, you're not feeling well. <laughs> Dave Letterman. He added the word naked. Obviously, he's not feeling well. He's not feeling well. Yeah. You do that on your show tonight. <laughs> All, right. All right, that was Dave Letterman. You know, I, I'm, i got to tell you something, Howard. I'm, I'm having a, a hard time sleeping these days. And, and, yeah, Artie, how much heroin does it take to make you drowsy? Yeah, well, why don't we, I think you're done, uh, is what I'm saying. Why don't you just chill out? Sit back, relax. Yeah, sit back and relax. You've yeah, done a, a yeoman job today. Yeah, we're good today. And we're going to see you tomorrow. Thanks to uh, everyone who stopped by today. And Dave, thank you especially. Howard, before I go, I just want to say one thing. You know, I, I hate that uh, that uh, that cunt, uh, Andy. I just hate him. Who? What? Yeah. I, I just what did he say, cunt. Artie? That's one Wendy. I don't even know. Who? 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 That that uh, that cunt. Uh, who? Wendy. What? What did you say? Oh, forget it. Wendy. Wendy. No, Bindi. Oh, Bindi. Oh, and, and by the way, I want to tell you. <laughs> okay, I, gotta go. I hate that cunt. <laughs> I, I got to go, Dave. It's All enough right, already. <laughs> Guys love to fuck with Evil Dave. Uh, and he's so easy. Oh. You want to play the Evil Dave intelligence game? <laughs> Here, wait. You want to do a wacky uh, uh, answering machine man for Beth? Oh, whatever. Wait. All right. Try and guess if Evil Dave knows the answers to questions. Right. How many nickels equal a dollar? Does he know that? Evil How Dave. How many nickels equal a dollar? That's right. He's got to know that. No. I, I would say yes. I'll I say, say yes. I'll say no. Really? Yeah. I'll say no. I wonder if I should bet you. Up to you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't if think, he doesn't know that. If he doesn't know that, I'm shocked. I mean, I'm, he can barely read. I'm fat with time. cash from the weekend. Though, what, right? does he, what does he actually do for a living? Do we have a clue? I think he's a receptionist. Oh, no. But oh, he, really? He used to work at a, you know, I think like at some sort of blood bank. Yeah, no, no, no. Paycheck. I, I mean, you know, I shit. think he's a receptionist at the blood bank. <laughs> wow. What does that mean? He's a reception. Are you type A or type O? <laughs> All right, you know what? What do you want to go? 20, Fred? 20. I, all right, I'll go 20 with you. All right, I'll go 20 also. I say Should no. I get in on this? I'm staying out of it. All right. Yeah, I hate being in on these things. <laughs> but he's got to know how many nickels are in a dollar. He has to. All right, here we go. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, no. I'd say 95. Oh, my God. Oh, Thank shit. You. 95. I owe Fred 20. Give this to Fred. Beautiful. I got cash on delivery, Freddy. <laughs> Fred, I owe you 20. Awesome. Fucker. Truck sucker. You probably knew that. Now how the it. hell do you not know how many nickels? 95. 95. That's the most ridiculous answer. He's, he's, I mean, he's retarded. He's he retarded. retarded. People who speak French are from what country? Then he doesn't know anything. <laughs> He's got to know this. Uh, if the 95 nickels and a dollar, people Robin's speak, right. What do we think he knows? What do you think? People who speak French are, are from, from what country? Most people Canada. would know. And unless he's carrying out some sort of absurd joke. Tell you what, there are two answers to this. And what if he does say? more than two. Yeah, Actually, that's knows? right. What is it, like Haiti? Or yeah. Haiti, Canada. And France. Uh, anybody want to bet this one? Right, let's fucking no. bet on this one right here. <sighs> New Orleans. Oh, all my right, God. All right. I'm in. In on everything. He doesn't know a thing. Right. Well, there's nothing he knows. At this point. <laughs> I mean, they do speak. <laughs> no, they speak. Cajun. Yeah, but... it's what not French. What country was the question? <laughs> he's, like the, he's thinking the world is a country, first of all. Hold it. I'm right. i got to make some money here. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I think You're we right. all need. All bets are off. Oh, yeah, money. absolutely. Freddie's walking with the double sauce and that's Damn. it. Damn. Greece is part of what continent? No. All right, he doesn't no. know. Anybody of want to bet now? No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> now we can't bet. Bring in a new mark. You don't give me odds, man. Oh, wait a minute. It, are they saying he knows something? I don't know what. All I'm going to say is that there is absolutely a game here. All right. I'm going to say that this is the one he knows. I'll bet you 20 he doesn't know this. All right. I'm not sure I know this. <laughs> here we go. Uh, it's Europe. Ah, you owe me 20. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, well, Gary said, yeah, what you doing? well, you never know how his mind works. Maybe exactly. for some reason that was emblazoned in his head. Spell imbecile. No oh, he way. He can't spell him anything. No, somebody <laughs> bet me. <laughs> I mean, this, you might need anything. Gary the retard imbecile. to bet on that one. I'm going to need 50 to 1 odds on this. <laughs> we should bet, like, 
Like, could he even get one letter right? Like, could he get I first? Well, yeah, will he start with an <laughs> E or an I? With an I? I say he's going to start with the wrong letter. Anybody want to bet that? Im imbecile. Now nah, he'll start uh, with the I. I think I'll, he'll I'll start you, with the I. Twenty. I'm uh, twenty. All right. Give you a chance to make All right, here we go. Back. I got to make my money back, I'm <laughs> Fred. Then I'll get to you later. <sighs> Imbecile. Uh, I am. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's right. it. You're down right. like how much I'm, money? I'm, I'm, don't, let that, don't let that go by quickly, his thought process. I know. I want to hear it. I'm going to go back. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Imbecile. Uh, I am. Bus. B-U-S. <laughs> so. Uh, S A L. <laughs> Impossible. The one letter he gets right is the first one. Impossible. Fuck. Damn. He is it. stupid. He did put brain in gear before mouth and talk. Before what <laughs> color is a lemon? All right. Hey, he knows that. <laughs> He's got to know that, right? I, I say you know. Please somebody let me. Anybody say no? Oh, I want to say he's. I want to say he doesn't. But Artie, he's where are know. you? Just because Gary's saying it, it's uh, a game. Fred, I'll bet you forty bucks. I say he knows. <sighs> now I'm not going to take that bet. Robin, I'll bet you twenty. I say he knows. I say he knows too. Artie, I think he I, I think he knows. All right. <laughs> you know, maybe I should just say he should, doesn't. Yeah, know. maybe you should switch. Could he possibly not know what a color lemon. a lemon? There is? was one time someone said lemons were green. Wow, it's just one of those times. Could he get this wrong? I mean, it just seems <laughs> impossible that he could get this wrong. There's so many. All right. He's only, gotten, gonna, gonna he's no. only gotten one right so far. All right, here's what I'm doing. All I'm right. going 20 with you. Uh -huh. I'm going for it. All right. I want to be even. All right. Fred, I'm going for it. 40 bucks. Wow. I say he doesn't know what color a lemon is. Okay. I'll take it. You'll take it? Let's All go. Right. Come on, baby. Uh, Yellow. Oh. Yeah. Me. 80 bucks? I'm, God damn it! I'm in for 40! You owe us uh, 120 wow. bucks. That's right. <laughs> Fuck. Back on Evil Day. There's so many oh, parts, shit. areas in life you, you can see 11. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know when he's going to answer seriously. I Game's know. not over yet. All don't right, count your money yet. Right. What does DVD stand for? Oh, he doesn't know. No that. way. No. There's no way. But could he? If he only knew this, oh. I'd make my money back. Dumb no. Van Dave. <laughs> See, you're, you're falling into a, a trap, gambler. Dave you, Van Dave. You're chasing yeah. money right I now. Know, I'm chasing. Going, I'm chasing. You're going like, oh, I think, well, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but you you're, know. You're recognizing the syndrome. Yeah. What does DVD stand for? <laughs> Digital video, video disc. disc. Hmm. He G can't know that. He doesn't know it. All right, here we go. Whoa. What happened? I don't know. The oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Something well, venereal. You know, you know, you know, you know. What does DVD stand for? All right. Let's see. There's a problem here with this. Okay, here we go. Venereal disease? <laughs> Thank God I didn't get sucked into that one. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is seven squared? Oh, he doesn't know. There's no way. That's an easy one, too. He should know that, right? He, but he doesn't know how many nickels are in a dollar. He Does he even understand it. the concept of squaring? squaring? Yeah, no, there's no way. No. No way. Artie, you say yes? Sure, I'd See, love maybe, to say. Maybe, like, you know, it's one of those things where maybe in school he remembers this one answer from retard. No school. way. So do you want to bet? No, it's not oh, enough. Oh, you bet me? Come on, man. It's not I'll bet enough. you $120. It's not enough to bet. <laughs> I'm trying to make my money back. All right, here we go. Seven squared is 49. Oh, See, you Artie, Artie, bitch. Artie, you had it. See, maybe that he just, Shit. there's really you no rhyme right. or reason. Like, maybe like in school, he just remembers that for some reason. But that's what I'm saying. You you figured him out and you wouldn't go for Believe it. Believe me, I did not figure him out. <laughs> that dumbass. <laughs> ah, that's the game, too. That's oh. it? Well, oh, no, 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 there's another one. I'm going to make my money back on this one. What is Rosa Parks famous for? No Ooh, way. No you way. You think he knows this? All right, Fred, 80 bucks. He doesn't know. Uh, 80 oh, bucks. Oh, this is tempting. All right, you could double your money here. I say he doesn't know. Ooh. Robin, 40 bucks. He doesn't know. I'm trying to decide which way I think he'll go on this. He is the exact right age to know this. I mean, you know? yeah, really. You do learn this in school, Rosa Parks. But is Parks. he going to make a joke? That's... No, he ain't. You think he's joking? No, there are times when he just 
He, he was the exact right age to know how many nickels and a dollar, too. So. <laughs> but that, that clearly he doesn't Fred $80, know. Robin $40. Uh, I say. You say he knows or he doesn't know? I say he does not know. See, I have a feeling he does not know, too. Shit. Come on, Fred. You know what? I'm. Uh, oh. 80 bucks. Oh. You can turn it into 160. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to say he knows. Oh. <laughs> you say he mind. knows. I've just burned my money. You're right. doubling I don't the care. Internet? Yeah, we're doubling down. I don't care. Here we go. <sighs> she opened up a chain of restaurants. I don't know. You fucking asshole. All right, Fred, we're even. <laughs> Man, I was an ill-advised. Wow. He wanted, want, he wanted that. I had, nah, I wanted, I, I just wanted him to be right for once. <laughs> Robin, I still owe you 40 minutes. That's right. Let's see if there's one more question. All right. What is 40% of 20? No, no way. No 40% way. of 20? No way. No way. I don't even think I know that. I know. I was going to say, what is it? What is it? You know? It's eight. Is it eight? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How do you know that? Well, 10% is two times right. four is eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. Go backtrack because I didn't follow that. 10% of, 10 10 of 20, 20 is, two, is two. Times four is eight. Nice. That's true. You broke wow. it down. You're smart. Very nice, Artie. Hey, Artie, you know a lot. <laughs> Let's bet on Artie. Is that such a hard question? <laughs> well, you're talking to a better, too. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No way he knows it. Robin, come on, give me a $40. You know, Dave was good on the math. Seven times seven, 49. No, yeah, but know this is, he didn't nah, know come on. how many nickels. Let's go. In a dollar. Come on, you, what, are you going to go to the grave with that money? Let's go. Let me think. Give you double down. Second. Double down? I'm taking out my money. <laughs> this is 40 bucks. One. Now, how does that work? I owe you 40 or you owe me 80? I owe you 40 now. If I lose, I owe you 80. Yeah, but what do I owe you if I lose? Zero. Really? That's right. Yeah, Let's go it's for it. Double or nothing. Right. Yeah, yeah, so what's the big deal? Well, wait, what are you saying? You're playing with the house's money. I'm Ooh. saying he knows. He says he doesn't. All right. Shh. Oh, wait, maybe I want to get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Howard says he doesn't know. He does. Uh, fuck the man. Uh, oh, as long as you're on Evil Dave, do you want to hear Evil Dave on the intern show from last week? Because I heard it was pretty funny. Oh, yeah? I've got a couple of clips. Here's oh, Evil Dave yeah. on the intern show. I think it's time to bring in our special guest. Um, we are very lucky here on the intern show tonight. Um, he just got done taping his own show, and uh, he's here with us now. You heard him on Howard earlier today, but um, he's here with us now. So welcome, special guest. What what are you kids doing up past your bedtimes anyway? It's it's, it's Dave Letterman, everybody. Oh, hey, kids. oh I didn't mean David to do the Letterman. Letterman. Man. You know, we got it. We got a new segment. Sure, Dave talks to the kids and then the police. There, there you go, Evil Dave. It's great to have you uh, here tonight. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's great to be here tonight, Steve. You do a, a great job. You're much more talented than that uh, that pillow bitter Ross, the intern from the Tonight Show. <laughs> what, what a fag that kid is. That, that pillow biter. Yeah, yeah. He, I, you always poor Steve the internet to interpret what Dave said. Pillow bitter. Pillow bitter. That's great. <laughs> Pillow bitter. He's trying to read again. How did he say Martina Navratilova? <laughs> Pillow bitter. <laughs> that Pillow bitter. Steve's like, don't you know how to read, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. All right. Here's Evil Dave talking to the intern some more. Yes. All right. We're all fans of the Late Show, obviously, and uh, fr and fans of you yourself, and we know that the Late right. Show. Hires interns. Um, yeah. So, can you tell us a little bit about your program? Well, we we actually have a, an elementary internship program, and you know, there's nothing hotter than a third grade ass. Uh, <laughs> no, <yeah>. we, <laughs> I don't know what that means. What exactly. About second grade ass. Yeah, you know, we have a we have a strict rule at the Late Show: no black interns. Oh, I see. Oh, I yeah. see. I see. You know, you've certainly been in show business for a long time, right. and like we said, we know you have interns. Uh, what, what advice do you give your interns, or what advice can you give our interns? Well, I, I tell all my interns the same thing at the end of my, you know, each semester. Thanks for doing my dirty work for free, suckers. Uh. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, I do have advice. Fuck your teachers. It's, uh, it's the only way to get through college without uh, studying. And, and if a girl is, you know, and if a girl is passed out drunk on a, on a frat house couch, it's okay just to put the tip in. I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. There, there you go, guys. Uh -huh. See? He's funny. Got some good advice. I like Evil Dave. I like it. Well, there he is on the intern show, Dave. And uh, he said he did his own show. Dave did a show. He did. Let me see. All right, everyone knows Evil Dave. Evil Dave, you know, he has trouble reading. 
whatever. As we, we witness here every time he comes. When we have him on the show, we write him lines and stuff, and sometimes he has trouble reading them. And so. he really mangles names. But he's a funny dude, you know. In fact, the other day, uh, we're sitting around, and Richard said, uh, Richard has this thing set up. I guess he learned it from Jim Florentine, where the telemarketers, he has a number where they can call in. And the telemarketer was really impressed. David Letterman. You know, we put David Letterman's name on the telemarketing list, and he called David Letterman, and he got all excited. Where is that, Richard? Oh, that's funny. Hey, uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, you guys will like Gary it. Gary page one in yellow. In yellow, huh? Hey, okay. here's Evil Dave. Because the guy's like, wow, this is like a big day for me. The telemarketing jackpot. Got Dave Letterman on the phone. <laughs> and the guy's like, well, you want an intern? Like, he's, he's selling some kind of school thing. And he goes, uh-huh. oh, you must want an intern. No, 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 I don't want to go. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is David in? Yeah. All right, David, this is Institute Online. Uh-huh. How are you doing today? What What do you need? Did you request information on uh, the graphic design program? Yeah. What, what actually got you interested in the program? Well, no, I just, I, I was talking last night with my girlfriend, and it just occurred to me that it can never hurt to have too much education if it can help it. I mean, I can go over all the program with you. Are you looking for an intern, or are you just looking for actually all? No, I, I, I'm thinking about attending, actually. If, uh, oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to go over all the program with you right now? Yeah, give me a little description of the course. Uh, this is uh, kind of an amazing phone call for me. All right. Um, I mean, we got a diploma program, bachelor's, and we got an associate. Let me ask you one quick question here. What what race is most uh, majority of the students? <laughs> I'm not 100 sure. It's all online, so we we. Uh huh. I mean, you never actually come face to face with them. I, you know, I want to make sure I'm online with a white person. Uh, you you probably will be. Um, uh huh. Every, everybody that's uh, actually teaching is is the, you know they got like a master's right <laughs> now how do i how do i know how old the other person is online because i don't want to you know get in trouble about this thing i mean everybody's out of high school I'll, I'll tell you that much dang i'll tell you what i can actually send you some information what ethnicity are you i am caucasian caucasian all right perfect those darkies you know they give me a stomach ache all right so evil dave the first name we gave him we spell it out for him you know we write it on a piece of paper angelina jolie Mm. Could he, if, he, if he was staring at the name Angelina Jolie, J-O-L-I-E, could he pronounce it? And I would say no. I got to think Angelina might trip him up, but that everybody's saying that name all the time mm. these days. Yeah, but, he, you but know. he's got to read it. I but say no. But don't you look at that and immediately recognize it? Want to go 20 bucks? Here I go again. He's supposed to recognize the word garage. He doesn't recognize that either. All right, I got 200 of yours. I'll I'll play with it. 20 bucks. Says he can. I don't like when you act like you're playing with my money. I hate that. <laughs> All right, I got 20 bucks with Robin. I say no way he can say it. I don't think so either. Nah. All right, here we go. Angelina Jolie. Oh. Ah! Whoa! I think I got another 20 of yours. You do. Wow. <laughs> Holy I have shit. no fucking luck with this. <laughs> He's like, you're bad, you're dark cloud. Is the next one Anna Kornikova, Gary, or is it Adrian somebody? No, it's, uh, we got rid of Adrian. Okay, Anna Kornikova. No way. No way. He's not No friggin' Bet me 20 bucks. No, I, I, I be can't. Even. I can't bet you on that. I don't want to give you another 20 bucks. <laughs> All right, Anna Kornikova, there's no way he can say that, right? No. No, yeah, okay. no way. I'm no. saying no. Uh, Anna uh, Kornikovic? <laughs> close. That was Almost. pretty close. But he didn't get it. Avril Lavigne, no way. Uh, no. Uh, he'll say like Lavegana or something. Yeah. Laza- Avril Levine, Lasagna. Lasagna. Uh, there you go. April Lavigne? April. April. He didn't wow. even get the Avril. But he got Lavigne right, yeah. which is weird. All right, could he say Bam Margera? No. The guy from Jackass. No. Mm-mm. Bam Margera? No. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> like, you see? Bam Margera? Oh, Bam uh, Margera? <laughs> What about Belinda Carlisle? No way, right? See, now that he might be able to say. Oh, good. Give me 20. I say no way. All right. 20 bucks he can say All right, good. Belinda Carlisle. All right. I say he can't. I say no, too. I say yes. Mm, no. Uh, Belinda Carlisle. Oh, ah! motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> 40 bucks. I can't win one, this guy. God damn it. Uh... Carlos Mancia? No. No. <laughs> no way, right? <laughs> Carlos uh, Mencia. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting close. All right, Charlize Theron. Oh, this is a tough one. 
Again, he might know just because she's so famous. Right, this might go but I don't think he's going to know this one. I say he doesn't know it either. I'm not betting that he knows this. <laughs> Try to, can he know this? I think he knows this one. You do? If I, I bet do. her 20 bucks, am I going to lose again? Uh, uh, I mean, i got to get my money back. Uh, you know, man, I'll bet her the 20 bucks. That, does she say no? She says no way. Okay, I'll, I'm going to see if I can break the curse. 20 bucks. I'll, I'll take the bet. All right. All right. Fred says that she, he can say Charlize Theron. Charlize uh, Theron? Does Come that on. count? Yes, it does. It's the mm. wrong. I don't Bullshit. know. Bullshit. That's as close as it gets. But he That's didn't get 20 it. Bucks. He got it. In my opinion, he got it. Let me hear you know what? I think else... we're going to have to throw this one out. Oh, stop. <laughs> I think you might, really. Boy, oh, I, boy, I'm not, come you know on. We're talking about welching on a bed. Wait. Wait, Charlize, take it uh, easy. Wait, let me get it right. Hold on. Now, this is going to get ugly. <laughs> Charlize uh, Theron? Theron. That's uh, not Fred. right. That's as close as it gets. I'm sorry. If you won't honor the bet, then I'm not betting with you ever All again. All right, I'll pay you 20 bucks. Yeah. You want to take my money. It, it, isn't, it Actually, isn't right. You want to it's take Howard's right money. right as it can be. <laughs> Fred, I love you, but it's Theron. That's the whole thing. Why? <laughs> yeah, that's why you got to do this, because they then have we'll, weird you know pronunciations. What? Then, then we'll throw it out. Throw it out. No, I'm baby. giving him the 20 bucks. Big it's baby. my 20 anyway. And I'm giving him the 20 bucks. All right, Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea Clinton, he can say. Got it. I hope. I wonder, man, maybe I can make my money back on Chelsea. See, this is the one. Say maybe. no, I'll take, I'll give, I'll, I gotta pay for it 20. I, I wouldn't say no, man. It could be too he, obvious. He knows this one. He's gotta know. He knows this Unless one. Unless he fucks up Chelsea. He knows Chelsea Clinton. Here we go. Chelsea Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, All right, like Christina, Christina Aguilera. Oh. I'm gonna say no. Me too. There's no bet there. He's gotta fuck up at least a little bit of it. Christina Aguilera. Oh, wow. see, Son that's where bitch. you could have made money. Fuck. Cocksucker, I have no confidence in him. <laughs> <laughs> Condoleezza Rice. Ooh, now mm. that one is in the news again all the time. See, the problem with him is I can't figure out, like, what it is that throws him off about any particular name. He knows this one. Yeah. He does? He's yeah. in the news a lot. Yeah, he knows Condoleezza Rice. I've even heard him say it here. I say he knows it, too. Well, he sort of said it. <laughs> Condoleezza Rice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. All right, here's one I know I can make money with. Just bet me on this one, okay? All right, what is it? Danielle Brisbois. Oh, no. Oh, how, no. how can you Fucking just 40 want to bucks. take the money? 40 bucks says he can't do it. He can't do that. Oh, shit. One I know. Danielle uh, Brisenbos. <laughs> that was bad. All right. How about Elizabeth Hasselbeck? Uh, I don't think he can say that. He's going to say Beck. Yeah, because it is spelled B-E-C-K. It could be Hasselbeck. I'll take Hasselbeck or Hasselbeck, either one. How's that? that but you? I don't think he'll he'll be able to say that much. Yeah, I don't either. You, you don't? You don't no, want to bet me? he's not going to. He's such a... Elizabeth Hasselbeck or back you'll accept? Yeah. I yeah. almost want to say he does know. I want to say he doesn't I'm know. I'm not betting with Frick. It's crazy. <laughs> you know what? I, if, That'll bite my leg off. No, no, yeah, He wants that too. He wasn't giving you 20 no matter what. Come on. Let's, let's, we'll make that the bet then. <laughs> what are you saying, Fred? I say he knows. Robin? I say he doesn't. Okay. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. All right. All right. Elizabeth uh, Hatson back? Hatson back. <laughs> okay. We're even. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck. Oh, he knows that one. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe well, I can then some, bet I mean, me. I'm thinking about it. You say he Jinx. knows that one, Robin? Yes. I'll bet you $50 he doesn't know it. 50 <laughs> Woo! See, wow. I'm raising it. Woo! He's going for it. All right. I was laying in wait. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I should go the full 40 Ooh, uh, dude. Well, but but he know, you see, he's an older guy. He knows Engelbert Humperdinck. That was a big deal. Uh, Artie says 50 he but doesn't. But you're forgetting his reading comprehension. Yeah, but hey, once he sees Engelbert and he stares at it. I mean, gonna... Hasselbeck is about as, you know, you can read that. You should be able to read that. <laughs> Humperdinck is just going to totally fuck him. All right, I'll go 40 with you, too. So you're, right. you're laying down 90. 90 on bucks on this one. I know he knows how to say that. You know what? I'm backing out of this. You're backing out? i got to think about this. Wow. because Because this motherfucker, he grew up <laughs> with Engelbert Humperdinck okay. on the news. I, I, all right, well, fine. This doesn't mean he knows it. So are you sure you know this one? I'm gonna because I like uh, I like the listen, listen, I I can't figure this motherfucker out, <laughs> and I was waiting for an opportunity here. I, I you believe this is to, it to go with a full fifty, and this is as close as I'm I can a, get. I, I, I say know. I say he knows it, Robin. I agree with you. So you're out of the bet. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got fifty with Artie. 
Engelbert Humperdinck? Oh, oh, God, I am cleaning up. You are, Jesus. <laughs> Thank God I got out of there. <laughs> Man. But I told you he'd know that. Mm. Because that was like a thing. <laughs> All he has to see is angle. She reads lines like Evil Dave. <laughs> and the number one song of, what is it? Yeah, right. uh, the song of the music of Howard Stern. Uh, and the number one song, uh, music of, for Howard Stern. <laughs> the music of Howard Stern. One more time. The music of Howard Stern. And the number one theme music for Howard Stern. The music, T-H-E. Oh, the music? No, the, the, the. Oh, the music, okay. And the, and the number one, the music for Howard Stern. And the number one song. And the number one song for Howard Stern. <laughs> Wait, that got fucked up because of the phone. All right. And the number one song for Howard Stern. No, the music of Howard Stern. And the number one music of Howard Stern. <laughs> the music of Howard Stern. And the number one, the music of Howard Stern. For the music of Howard Stern. And the number one choice for the music of Howard Stern. There we go. There That's good. Is. That's there good. Is, that rate, it should be over in about seven hours. <laughs> I mean, every time I hear that clip, I get more and more mad at Steve. <laughs> the music. I am music. All right. Right, we have a lot to get to. Let me say good morning, first of all, to Evil Dave, who joins us today. Good morning, Howard. David How are you Letterman, today? Uh, there David, he is. David yeah, Letterman I'm was here. just on uh, Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I saw you on there being interviewed. Uh huh. I think they should have spent the whole hour with you. What yeah. do you think of that? It was it was uh, nice uh, talking with Oprah. Mmm, uh, something smells good. Uh, Robin, are you uh, penniless today? <laughs> 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 Nothing like the scent of a black woman in heat. You know what I'm saying? Well, I would have know. <laughs> All right, now let me ask you. Now I heard is this true? Now is Robin dating Jim Florentine? Yeah, I'm so oh, jealous. Oh, really? <laughs> I wanted to date Jim Florentine. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, I'll I'll step aside. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, seriously, you, you look great. I I forget you're black. I think of you like me, a, a white person. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, gee, what a compliment. That's but nice I don't know what that is. That's really nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> now, Howard, let me ask you something. Give me, give me your honest opinion. Do you think Britney Spears has a smelly pussy? Do <laughs> I? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Hey, speaking of Britney Spears, let me interrupt you, Dave. I know you're doing a thing. <laughs> All right. Dave, you've uh, uh, prepared some sort of top ten list about Britney Spears? Oh, yeah. Right? Can you do that, or is it, sure, is I it can too, do, that. Is, do you want more time? Well, no, it's fine. Incidentally, you know who that person sounded like a little bit? I, I think that sounded like, you know, Wendy the Retard or something. Yeah, I got a list for you. It's not written on your paper. All right, all right. I knew that was going to happen. Hey, Dave, <laughs> what? why do you think so many Americans uh, don't know how to find the United States on a map? I don't know. I just, I, I'm being serious. Why? They probably didn't uh, subscribe to uh, Google. I don't know. Get some MapQuest, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's your answer? Yeah, that's my answer. You know, I think he's Final qualified answer. to be a contestant. Yeah. She was only prettier. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right, you want this little list here? Sure. All right, here we go, buddy. Uh, the category, this this isn't a full one, but it's a good one. Uh, reasons now, Howard, Robin, and Artie, uh, the top uh, eight reasons why I would still bang that pig, Britney Spears. <laughs> now, top ten reasons or top eight reasons? Well, I got eight. You got I just, eight. Yeah. I, you I, couldn't I, come up with ten. That's right. No, I think it's a legal thing. On his show, he does top ten. Here he's oh, only do top I eight. Oh, yeah. Quality, not quantity in this case, Robin. All right, give us the top eight reasons why you would what? Why I would still bang that pig, Britney Spears. All right, ready? go ahead. Here we go. Uh, number eight, after I'm done, I could rip her wig off uh, to wipe my cock with. How about that? <laughs> that ain't right. Number seven, two kids might have uh, worn out that vagina, but ten bucks says the pooper is still as tight as a drum. Oh. A drum. <laughs> number six, it would be uh, paradise compared to the time I fucked Aretha Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> laugh where you get it. Number five, uh, I'm getting worried about Paul Schaefer. I'd like to show him how a real man fucks a woman. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. These are the top eight reasons why you would still fuck that pig, Britney Spears. Exactly, All Howard. Right. Number four, she now has the same physique uh, as a co-worker I'm attracted to, Vinny Vavali. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Number three, I can still check out her twat for Anton's Fig's missing drumstick. 
Who? What? Say that again. I can st- I number three. I can check out her twat for Antoine Figg's missing drumstick. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, Antoine I was going Figg. good. Go ahead. go ahead. Number two. Uh, I've always wanted to shoot my load in a girl's face and then say, "Oops, I did it again." <laughs> <laughs> And number one, and that's the number one reason you would still want to be with that. Yeah, the number one reason, Howard, I would still want to bang that pig, Britney Spears. I made a bet with Rob Burnett that I could fit uh, 250 marbles in her sack. No. In her snatch. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Uh, that's the way to do it. You got a way to bring it home. <laughs> okay, buddy. Way to sell it. Yeah. All right, Dave. Well, we can see why you're number two to Jay Leno. That's right. <laughs> By the way, some of those were fun. Yeah, some of oh, were pretty good. Number two, we should have ended. Right. Yeah, we should have. You're right. Yeah, that was not a good number one. <laughs> but but by the way, Howard, is it just me, is it just me or does is, uh, Serena Williams look like she might have a, a nice penis? <laughs> I, I think it's just you. <laughs> yeah, probably just me. No. All right. You know, you know, Howard, I'll, I'll bet uh, John Bon Jovi's uh, cum tastes like hazelnut gelato. Yum. Gelato. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. That's you just a, fucking guy. That's a non-segment. <laughs> you got to hear this guy. We, we go nuts with Evil Dave. Listen to this. i got to play it one last time. All right. And the number one song of, what is it? Yeah, all right. Uh, the song of the music of Howard Stern. Uh, and the number one song, uh, music of, for Howard Stern. The music of Howard Stern. One more time. The music of Howard Stern. And the number one theme music for Howard Stern. The music, T H E. Oh, T music? No, the, the, the. <laughs> oh, the music, okay. And the, and the number one, the music for Howard Stern. And the number one song. And the number one song for Howard Stern. Wait, that got fucked up because of the phone. All right. And the number one song for Howard Stern. No, the music of Howard Stern. And the number one music of Howard Stern. The music of Howard Stern. And the number one, the music of Howard Stern. For the music of Howard Stern. And the number one choice for the music of Howard Stern. There we go. That's good. That's good, buddy. (laughs) What happened? Wow, is that me? Yeah. Oh, I must have been miserably drunk. <laughs> I, I, by the way, I'd like to congratulate uh, Miss Robin Quivers on her new uh, love interest. Now I'm trying to remember his name. Oh yeah, Mister uh, Martina Martina Navatilova. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. I, you, you know, Howard. Can I just say something? Oh, oh shit. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I love going into men's rooms, uh, playing uh, footsie and jerking a guy off, but I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. What were you trying to say? Well, I, I'm just trying to say, am I the only one in this room who's sick and tired of vagina? No, everyone here loves Virginia. Oh, okay. Well, Except for Rob. About that. Yeah, I think you're on my page. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, Dave Letterman, and your show is on 11.30 at Yeah, 11.30. Right. And, uh, you know, it's uh, everything's uh, been going real good. By the way, I, I just like to see, you know, uh, they're, they're trying to make me go to rehab. And uh, yes, 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 <laughs> I'm going to go to rehab and, and fuck me some cocaine-addicted uh, Lohan. Yes, yes, yes. Is that your new song? Yeah, I'm working on that. I'm going to go to rehab. Yes, yes, yes. And, i got to get a title for it. Yeah. You're going to get Lindsay Lohan? Oh, sure. Yeah. And, and by the way, I hope Ralph uh, calls in uh, during the show because I want to ask him how Sam Simon's uh, panties smell like. I want to ask him, you know. <laughs> All right, we get it. We get it. Yeah. All right, Lisa G is here with headlines. <laughs> <laughs> we, we write these two days in advance and give plenty know. of time it to It sounds like they were good lines. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, they were. The lighting's bad. <laughs> uh, Lisa G, you're here. Oh, and you're ahead. Uh, she looks great. And, and by the way, uh, you look great after that dramatic, uh, that drastic weight loss. You know, what's your secret? Is it AIDS or sickle cell? That's not funny. Yeah. It's a combo. Oh, okay. I'm doing the combo. The combo, thing. yeah. <laughs> My God. A little sickle cell, a little eight. <laughs> She's got both. <laughs> right. Wow. Uh, you know, i got to tell you something, Howard. <laughs> yeah. That, that John Sally is, is incredible. He, he he could give me an enema. Right. He's, mm-hmm. he's you would like else. it. You, you're trying and to Robin, me. you know, you got to give Robin credit. She looks so hot. I, I'd bang her so hard, you know, she'd shit blood. She really? really unbelievable. Well, well, there's an invitation. There you, you, you never talk about that stuff on your show. Oh, no, you can't. No. Have you ever done that to another woman? Huh? Well, I, you know. Dave Letterman. I put her in the naughty chair, as I said on Oprah. Right. But, Robin, you, you look so delicious. God, I wish I was the last cup of, you know, coffee uh, poured, uh, you know, in your colon. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Dave. That's fine. Right. Right. I think it's right, and I'll do what I think is right. Sir, are you speaking right. to someone that uh, was a nurse for two years? <laughs> Dave. No problem. Dave sticks up for you. You know, and by the way, I love bukkake. I, I just hate it when it gets in my eyes. Mm. Well, yeah. that's right. You know, Howard, a lot of these doctors, too, are Jews. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Are you Jewish, Dr. David? I am. Good I, I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't trust him. You know what I'm saying? All right. Thank you, Dave. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, right. Lisa. Good job, but, and we look forward to uh, more. By the way, Lisa, I have a news tip for you. But my my finger is in my ass. <laughs> hey. Well, then I'm sure the news department will want to interview. Yeah, there you go. All right, David Letterman, it's great seeing you. Thank you for coming by. Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, there's a guy who works hard and has achieved great success, and congratulations on your opening. Thank you very much. Howard Your belt around you. Yeah. Did you know that uh, Martina... <laughs> What? Did you know that Martina Navalova... Maybe I shouldn't have my blood pressure taken. It's the same thing. What are you saying? Well, did you know that Martina Navalova oh and I have something in common? We both want to go down on Robin. Oh, well, stop it. And, and by the way, you know, I, I knocked up uh, my intern uh, a few months ago. Thank God for partial uh, birth abortion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> evil day. My God, that is evil. Yeah. That is evil. Really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know, you know, Howard. I I love being middle aged because you know when a guy comes on my hair, it blends in. Yeah, because you have gray hair now. There you go. Yeah, white hair. Yeah. yeah. Maybe uh, you're right. Maybe you're onto something. Your hair is jizz white. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Good for you. You're dragging around the machine. <laughs> what if they leave you there, Robin? They forget to hook you off the machine. Yeah, sounds like someone has a big bust. Oh, she's going bananas. Oh, All right. What is it, what? Dave? Well, it sounds like someone has a big bust. Bush, huh? a big bush. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> but what's it like to see all your work, man? Oh man, sorry. Oh my you know when goodness. you said you had those thoughts of like putting a gun to your head? <laughs> yeah. This is one of those times. Everybody. Right, Fred that writes me great. an email the other night. He's, he's labored over lines for yeah. Evil Dave. You know, there's a lot of the guy Benji, but Fred, you know, I can see he put a lot of work in, and then I just see him steaming over there. Oh, sorry. And it's like you just give sorry. up after a while. You just go. Okay, whatever. Someone's no. got a big butt. <laughs> and you go, what? what That's what not even close. Mean? I'm sorry. Dave, what's going on over there? I don't know. It seems to me that Jay Leno's chin looks like a swollen cock. I don't know. <laughs> well, I know you're jealous of Jay I Leno. Didn't, I yeah. didn't write that one. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's taking credit for that one. I don't think anybody wrote that you one. You didn't mess that one up. Yeah. All right. Hey, Dave, I love you. Uh, it's great seeing you here Thank on the you, show, buddy. and uh, good luck with your own television show, yeah. the David Letterman Show, uh, Late Night with David Letterman. He's all the luck I can get right now. All right. Yeah. Good for you. He's years of being out there. She's, she's got more of a fucking career than I do at this point. <laughs> right. What well, the fuck is this? Uh, Dave Letterman, have you ever met Ozzy Osbourne? Oh, yeah, we've we've met, we've met. Yeah. You've had him on your show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sharon, you, I don't I don't know how Sharon puts up with him. I really don't. You really? Don't. No. Yeah. Why do you say or, that? I just I just don't know how how, how he does. And Howard, this man is uh, you know, b bamboozling you. This, this is the same guy, you know, who claimed he was David Lee Roth. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to break the illusion? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, well, if this were a carnival game, we'd be getting a visit from a sheriff about right now. <laughs> You know, it's good to see that, that, that Dave has a high IQ. Yeah. Right, yeah, he's a very bright guy. Oh, sure. You, you should see him. I'm, I'm glad that the, he's a guy who understands the entertainment industry. <laughs> yeah, he really gets it. Uh, yeah, imagine somebody yeah. coming in and sounding like someone else. <laughs> Ozzy, what, uh, what is it, Dave? Did, did you know that uh, Billy uh, once uh, you know, removed a, a genital wart from my thumb? Is that right? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was his brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Dave. So what do you mean, Chris? Right. Can I just oh, say something? David Letterman wants yeah. to say one Before thing. Before you go, that, that really wasn't Ozzy. He was just an impersonator you were talking to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, thank you, David Letterman, and thank you, Chris. All right, Oh, there Good he is. Nice to meet you, Chris. Yes, nice Good to meet you. you. Yes. And I'm not shaving my bush anymore in case I do meet you. <laughs> Well, Billy, uh, there it is. We thought Sal was a freak. <laughs> oh, man, that guy takes the cake, huh? Yeah. You know, Howard, that. after this conversation, I really don't rob want uh, Robin going out to California. I, I don't think she should do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? what? I just don't want her going out to California after this conversation. That's Dave. You know, right. I mean, he's, he's... He just Lennon. comes up with these non sequiturs. It's not all about comedy. Sometimes it's about just advice. Real concern. Yeah. Good for you, Dave. How about her dating yeah. Jim Florentine? How do you feel about that? Huh? How, Dave, how do you feel about her dating Jim Florentine? Oh, I'm, I told you, I wanted Jim Florentine. I <laughs> see, he's jealous. Yeah, he's jealous. He's he wants to speak, Dave. Yeah, he wants yeah, to. I've got the white hair. i got the experience. <laughs> yeah. right. uh, first of all, <laughs> Billy, thank you. For, I, I can't believe John Hine is a Jew. He seems like a really nice guy.
<laughs> Thank you, Dave. Dave Letterman. All right. Here we go. Let All right, me, I, I'd like to ask Robin a question. Right. How does a black woman afford airfare? Explain that. <laughs> oh, Dave, come on. You know, your race humor. Let's go down, down to the store and show. get some Dr. Schultz. You know well, what I'm saying? You know, they're taking most, food most stamps at the airport now. Right. Let's I didn't bring Howard. you. <laughs> yes. Is, is it time for Robin to do one of her uh, news stories where a busload of five-year-olds uh, uh, went over a cliff uh, <laughs> in a bus after being molested by a school teacher? Yes, it okay. is that time. Thank you. All right. First story. <laughs> yes, could I get to it now without right. any more interruptions? A busload of kids were in a bus, apparently. No. That's right. <laughs> that was how the story started. They were in a bus, this busload of kids. Oh, boy, it is. You know, Howard, my yep. teacher, uh, Larry, asked me uh, once if I knew where feces came from. Yeah, and then, and, I was know what happened. Yeah. and then what happened? I don't know. It just got quiet. Right. Like and now. Then, just like now. <laughs> That's right. And then Kate, Kate Van Diotri came in. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, maintain or retain that seat. You know, Howard, i just like to say this about uh, Larry Craig. Uh, I think the guy should be president. I, I like a guy who stands for what I do. You know, blowing guys in stall three while denying them gay marriage. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's the old agenda. <laughs> Uh, sorry to interrupt, but tonight on my show, Vigo uh, Morrison, Mortensen, and, Mortensen, oh, and and Kate Von D. Doherty. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank All you. Right. All right. Wow. But it's just, I don't know how you live with yourself. I don't know how you get, you can't get together with your friends and family anymore. You hey, Howard, are. I got a question. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy. Florentine. Does the EECP machine help guys read? Read? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think I so. I have the glasses off. them a little bit, right, you know, buddy. maybe a little glasses thing or something. Did you have your glasses off there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. There's another one in his eye. Joe, you're on the air in Vineland, New Jersey. Hey now. Hey now. Hey, uh, you know when you have uh, evil uh, Dave on the Howard TV episodes, uh, has anybody else noticed how frustrated Will gets when he's trying to feed him papers and evil Dave just fucks it all up? That's one yeah. of the best things to watch. That's the fun. Uh, it's the greatest. That's why Howard TV rules, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, how you doing over there? You getting frustrated? I'm a little tired from pulling him back from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what is your function over there, Will, when uh, Evil Dave is on? You, you like, he wants to start ad living, and your job is to keep him from ad living. Yeah, I, I pull him, I'm, I physically pull him from the microphone. I gotta say, I have to. Uh, I don't make Will's job any easier. I bust balls like Dave will write down a line he wants to try, and right. it's like awful, and I tell him to do it. <laughs> so, so Dave goes to the mic, and Will has to go, no, no. <laughs> and, then, and then I sidetrack Will by talking about his uh, upcoming marriage, so that kind of works out. Uh, pretty good. See, like right there. That yeah. Pulled him away right there. It is a funny dynamic because Dave, we've told him no ad libbing, right. and then Will, Will's job, his whole job is to babysit him and pull the mic away from him. Like when you had the the Britney uh, Spears guy on. Yeah. yeah. He wrote something that he wanted to try to say that I didn't even understand. What, <laughs> what was he wrote what was down? It? He wrote down uh, this guy should go to California with Robin. And uh -huh. I was like, and he looks at me and he no, laughs. He country. looks at me and he laughs and he goes, <laughs> and I go, yeah, that's great. <laughs> You're <laughs> him on. And then Will is pulling the paper and out. Then, of and, then, and then as he goes to say <laughs> something, Will has to go, no, no, no. <laughs> Part of the dynamic over here. But if you can actually see the the archery, the way it's written, it makes it so much funnier. Because right. I get to see the. The pristine line. Yeah, you know, I get to see what it looked like. It's like reading pig, like pig Latin over here. <laughs> All right. So, Will, it looks so like you... he's beating a dead horse. That's what it looks like. Do you physically yeah. hold him back? Yes, yes. There are times where I yeah. like to pull him back like that. Right. You just, you just pull his chair or back. Or he'll like, right. write lines for me to for him to read. I'm like, no. <laughs> he's got me on a chain. Can we? I know. Oh, God, don't do that. Can we? <laughs> what? 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 Well, without Howard that? TV, you'd never see that. Can right. we interview Dave a little more about his new girlfriend? Or... Oh, oh he has a new girlfriend? Well, what do you know about this? Oh, Artie? let's let Robin finish the news, shall we? What no, is this, No, I don't know anything. I just love, you know, his getting to life. hear yeah. about his life. Like, have a I'm saving that for John. She has a trench foot. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Let's let's go on here and finish the Do news. you have a new girlfriend? <laughs> huh? Do you have a new girlfriend? No! No? You were dating I a woman. I can't afford two. You were dating a woman. Or three. He thinks he's David he's Letterman. I know. He he's does. old. He's I very shy about his private. You, you have, a, have girlfriend. a girlfriend now. Yeah. You ha you didn't have a girlfriend the last time we talked to you. That's right, Your Honor. And well, so this is a new girl. No, it's the same one. Oh, you got her back. Yeah. How'd you do that? I just got her back. What'd you do? Huh? Uh, what'd you call her a million times? Oh, I or? begged her. <laughs> I begged her. Like You're banging this chick? No, I begged her. What, what about your ex-wife? You divorced now officially? Yeah, yeah. That your ex-wife's name was Cromwell, right? Huh? Right, Cromwell. 
<laughs> if you say so. No, I don't know. Am I wrong? Uh, it was Con Wall. Con Wall? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I was saving that for the John Hines show. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I, I, I never yeah, knew you. Right. I never met her. Yeah. And now Con you got, Wall? We got her over here I, on a boat. And yeah. you guys are all broken up now. Yeah. Yeah. And she's with another man, or you don't know? I, I don't know. You don't even talk. Well, we talk. Why did she divorce you? You're such huh? a catch. I don't know. That's probably why. <laughs> did she realize you sound like David Letterman? Huh? What? No, she realized I looked like Edgar, Edgar Winter or something. I don't know. He does that thing that, ha, huh? that's like a nervous thing. Right? Yeah, huh? That's a Letterman thing. Yeah. Is it too? Yeah. 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 That is. <laughs> no, wait, uh, uh, but this new girl. Yeah. His old wife is dating, is dating a Jay Leno sound alike. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the man come, well. Yeah. She goes for his chin. So the the new girlfriend, you're banging her and everything, huh? Yeah, we're trying. Yeah. What, what you mean you... trying? You haven't slept with this woman? I mean, I have to afford to take her out on a date. <laughs> I don't understand. You're back with it's her? It's called you... alimony. Huh? So yeah. you can't take, no, I haven't new taken her out not as, as much as I'd like to. But, Where do you, know. you go when you take huh? her out? Where do you go when you take her out? I don't know. Take her bowling. I don't know. You always act like you can't hear your right. question. Huh? Huh? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but really, you haven't slept with her? Yeah, I've slept with her. But not since you got back together. Yeah, no, he has. I have. Are you good in bed? Huh? Are you good in bed? <laughs> uh, you have to ask her. I don't know. So why do you take her out even? You could, you're like, yeah, stay home. Watch yeah, a movie. Just a booty call. Yeah, well, you know, working on that. You got to take on... her out all the time? <laughs> yeah. She kind of remember on her birthday, right? What? What do you get her for? Uh, I got to move on with the news. It's just getting late. Yeah. 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 Hey, thank God. What would you say? What you say, Will? What? Uh, Will? He's a bad. He's bad at shaving. Yeah. What? Bad. Will? I've been hanging around Gary the retard. I didn't finish. What did you say, Will? It was late. He, he shaved this morning, but he missed his entire neck. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he got his chin. Kind of a macho thing. Let me see. He does that all the time. It's like a goat thing he's got going on. I don't see it. I've been taking advice from oh, yeah, the retard. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, wow. You got like, yeah. like, I was in a hurry today. I'm sorry. He's got blotches of hair yeah. Yeah. around. That's right. <laughs> he just misses spots. Wow, you're really bad at shaving. Look at yeah. that. Holy shit. I just tell people I'm Italian. You know, I forgot to shave. <laughs> yeah, but, you, but you shave clean in like certain areas. And I was like, late today. I'm sorry. So but you just is... said I won't do my neck? I said I better get the hell over here. That's it's like random patches of hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, like what a, that's what like retarded men will do because yeah, they can't that's shave. Right. Well, I've been hanging around Gary the retard, sure. And it's long billy goat hair on yeah. his neck. Wow. Yeah. Where where is your girlfriend? We should call her. It looks like a boob, doesn't it? Can we talk to your girlfriend? Can we? Uh, we'd, we'd love to talk I to your girlfriend. I don't think so. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'd love to talk to your girlfriend. You gotta let uh, us meet the woman. Who she, I don't you. think so. Is she good looking? That that would kill it for me right there. <laughs> is she good looking? Small chance I have. Huh? Is she good looking? She's easy on the eyes. Yeah. yeah. You told her she was a fan of the show. Huh? <laughs> She's not after this. I don't know. <laughs> See, he hears you, but he goes, huh? Yeah, yeah I hear you. I waited. I All right. It's been very nervous, like twitchy. Yeah, that's right. What? But what? What? What would? But the last thing you got her for her birthday? What was it? The last gift you got her? Oh, I got her one of those machines. Robin's going out to. Yeah. <laughs> what you get? You wish. <laughs> What'd you get her? Come on, be serious. You got her world watch. A watch. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And is it a time for Robin to finish the news? Go ahead, Robin. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, well, Isaiah Thomas, they said, was laughing while this woman gave her testimony in court yesterday about being called a bitch at work. <laughs> I don't know what that's oh, about. we got Gilbert here. All right. Howard? Yes, Dave. You, you, know you know what else is a disgrace? That, that Senator Craig, uh, because, you know, bathrooms are, are for shitting, pissing, right. and vomiting, and not disgusting stuff like, you know, fags playing footsie. <laughs> Thank you for pointing All that right, out. Dave. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, John Stewart, end with a home run. <laughs> as you said, is going to host the Oscars again. Here's a clip. Thanks, uh, Evil Dave. Great I, I just you. want to say that uh, I'll be uh, busy uh, dropping loads all over Paul Schaefer's bald head. Mm. And dropping loads all over uh, Vinnie Vivali's nerdy uh, fucking glasses. Um, and BillyMiraComedy.com. You got anything you want to plug, Evil Dave? No, I'm just glad to be right. here. Thank you. <laughs> right. And we'll watch the David Letterman show. A little oh, bit. wait a minute. Yeah, I do have something to plug. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be on uh, Family Guy in January. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. In crazy. January. <laughs> right. I don't know why you brought that up. Uh, everyone agreed that Evil Dave is great. I love Evil Dave. I don't know if Evil Dave is a comedic genius or a blubbering idiot. <laughs> his total lack of timing, his inability to read, and the fact that he has absolutely no sense of what's going on in a conversation leads me to believe he has perfected the perpetually confused personas he so sought 
that that other comedians think of like Ellen DeGeneres and Bob Newhart. That's true, actually. Yeah. By the way, uh, the guys, of course, because um, I, I saw uh, Dave, Evil Dave running around the halls here on Thursday, yeah. and the guys were dicking with him all over the place. They brought him into a studio this time, and they recorded him cutting promos and things, but they made up words, Rob. Now, I don't know if these are real words or words they just made up. But and Dave can't tell? He doesn't. He, so, he just so wants to please Evil Dave that he just goes he ahead with plow it. Through it. Uh, top five reasons why I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. Uh, number five, her husband Bill is a uh, Friro Young Javor Zaparaga Gonzava. Do you? Do, and guys, did you write real words or just like, no? Richard said he just hit the keys on the keyboard without looking. <laughs> like Mr. McSixflix. All right, well, let's continue. Number four, I love the smell of her cousin, uh, Nis uh, Kimba, cousin uh, Skimbits, Kujitsovitsi. <laughs> Number three, because uh, Barack Obama doesn't know uh, uh, Var. Wanda Zaka from uh, Baranza Scott. <laughs> By the way, they told him. I know. I now I know the story. He they told Evil Dave that we have certain catchphrases on the show, right? That he might not recognize. Just read them. Sure. You know, so that's how this all happened. And nobody's from uh, cucumber. No Dave. one's helping him. Let's see. Number uh, two. Have you ever tried to drive a Mats uh, Ziwa? Mats Lug uh, Klingon. <laughs> I recognize that language. Oscar Lowitz, Maslu uh, Gruziwik, <laughs> Mazlu Guzowik. <laughs> and the number one reason uh, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton, I can't stand it when she's uh, Untheram Kazenskis. Your Theram Skit. I can't stand when she's Untherez <laughs> Rem. Uh, he just hit the keyboard. Tizzius. <laughs> You're a thum Skittish. Now, uh, Bob Levy could be accused of the same thing. I was listening to his show, The Miserable Men Show. Listen to Bob mangle the English language. So what's the kicker with all this? Well, well, the, time the, is, uh, the next day, she uh, said that we raped her. Oh, another? Oh, that's horrible. See? Yeah. That's yeah. why you got a videotape. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Bob brings up a good point. You know what I mean? You have to have him sign a wager now. A lot of times. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. A what? A, wager. a, what? a, wager. a paper. No. A wager. No. Yes. <laughs> a, a, a what? He's right. Wait a minute. Right? Wait a minute. <laughs> Everybody stop right now. Shut up. What did I do? Wait, he's right. Please. What did I do? Bob. What did I do? Bob. What? What, did what I do? does a guy need to fill out, please? He's got a. Actually, uh, that is a good idea. Yeah, the top ten whack pack. <laughs> I mean, if you had high pitch air, crackhead Bob. I mean, the hardcore whack pack. Oh, Jeff Levy, uh, yeah. or whatever his name is, the one who vomits. The vomit guy. The vomit guy. And of course, number one should be Evil Dave. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Evil Dave whack pack. Oh, Evil Dave would be in heaven if he got to do that. I think. Uh, I think. The real Dave Letterman face to face with Evil Dave is is absolutely gold. I think that's never going to happen. <laughs> well, <laughs> Howard, Dave, they they would they would let Howard do something like that. Isn't he the guy who stands outside of Letterman every time he comes here? He's never come. Well, now he's walking in with Howard. My new favorite uh, thing is Evil Dave reading the top five. Everybody wrote me about that. They thought that was so funny. Where Richard just gave Evil Dave a bunch of things to read, where he just hit the typewriter. It's and, the best. You know, hit the computer and whatever letters came up, Evil Dave had to read. Yeah, and he the, he really tries to plow through it. Here's the actual list, if you can see it. This is this is what they gave. Yeah, it's just that. gibberish. Yeah, like the first word was F L R Y O N G E A V C E R X W S A, and Evil Dave just struggles. Uh, top five reasons why I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. Uh, number five, her husband Bill is a uh, Friro. Young uh, Javor uh, verse verse foi, uh, Javor Paraga Gonzava. Number four, I love the smell of her cousin uh, Nis uh, Kimva, cousin uh, Skimvitz, Kujitsovitz. <laughs> what an absolute retard. I mean, <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's worth his weight in gold. 
Fun Gigabits. It just hit the computer, whatever level it's doing. And then how does he move on to the next item? Like, okay, we got that. He nailed that. Let's go on. He's done. (laughs) (laughs) Because her husband is like... Number two. Look at this next word. V R W O N D Z. All right. uh, Here's a quick game for you. So we said to Evil Dave when he was here, put him in a room, (laughs) and we gave him words to say, real words. Okay. All right. The first word, for example, is rhapsody. It's spelled R H A P S O D Y, as you might know. So he was looking at these words. Yes. Trying Um, to read them. Right. Now your question is in this game. (laughs) Could Evil Dave pronounce the word Rhapsody when he saw it on a piece of paper? Just looking at it. Just looking right. at it. Mm. Well, if he could pronounce Jiva, Jiva, Singa, Watch, yeah. Kojapa, I'm going to say yes, well, he who, could. <laughs> who knows if he did pronounce that word properly? <laughs> so I, I have a definite answer, so how do you want to do this? Go ahead. What's your definite I answer? I think he can. I say no. All right. Let's listen in and see if Evil Dave. No way. Okay. Uh, Rhapsody? Oh, geez. Absolutely geez. not. Uh, Raps the toy. I'm surprised right. he got now that you, far. Now that you <laughs> know that. He might be that. retarded. <laughs> Hold on now. Now that you know that, before you call anyone retarded, Fred. Fred. Yeah, Fred, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, crazy? <laughs> Give David a chance. I figured Rhapsody is a, a word that most people have seen yeah. and, and heard pronounced. Zimbabwe is the next word oh, up for grabs. Oh, forget that. It is spelled Z-I-M-B-A-B-W-E. There's no way, right? No. Again, getting into the mind of a whack packer. Mm. Is there some reason he knows Zimbabwe? Unless it was like a Letterman joke. I have to say no. Off or the he's top a of big Brad Pitt and Angelina right. Jolie fan. My answer is no. I say if you can't say Rhapsody, you can't say Zimbabwe. That's what, that would be my reason. I'd say it's a Zimbabwe. <laughs> All right, let's listen. We all say he can't say it. Let's see if we're right. Zimbabwe? Whoa! Yeah, hey. For some reason, reel you feel like, it right off. Yeah, somebody's got, maybe there's some reason he knows that in his crazy head. But All you right. would know Rhapsody before Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. let's ask you this one. I'll make it easier. Yeah. The word is cucumbers. Cucumbers. Uh, C u c u m b e r s. Could he botch that, or would he get it right? Cucumbers. Now he got Ooh. Zimbabwe right. I've heard him say the word cucumbers before. But reading it off a page. I say he can do it now. Yeah. Now I'm swayed that he can do it. I would say no, just to be arbitrary. He'll say he'll say something like cucumber. Well, don't forget he's seeing these words isolated, not in a sentence. So maybe uh, it'll take him by surprise. But I say he can that, say that should be easier. All right, let's see. Cumbakers. Cumbakers. Yeah, stop it! I thought he'd fuck that up. All right, next word up for grabs: esophagus. Esophagus. What you know? Oh, uh, e s o p h a g u s. Esophagus. Not even. You won't even get close. I no, say he, no. he'll mangle this. Say no. Here we go. Uh, Echo soft haggis. <laughs> <laughs> Echo soft haggis. Better than cucumber. Soft haggis. All right, I'm going to give you another word, and now I will allow <laughs> betting. <laughs> betting you, is open. The yeah. doors are open. I gave you uh, four words so that you can become familiar with Evil Dave speak. The word is anemia. He'll say it. A n e m i a. I say he can do this one. Anemia. Hmm. I've got twenty dollars that says he can do it. I have twenty really? says he can't. All right, you're on. Here we go. Anemia. Shit. Holy ah! shit. A creep. <laughs> All right, I owe Robin twenty. He wasn't sure, but he said it. Damn. See how you lose money? <laughs> wow. What's the next word? I'm All on right. a roll. All right, here we go. The next word is cranberry. Oh, forget it. C R A. C R A N B E R R Y. Pretty easy word. And you see it every Thanksgiving. I say he can do it. I say he can. Well, but you see, this is a weird game. He couldn't say cucumbers. I I say. I say he can do cranberry. You know what? This is going to be one of those. He might see, say cranberry. With him knowing from watching him botch Benji and Fred's work uh, oh, firsthand. Man. Sometimes the simpler words that you could blend out are harder for him. I'm going to say no. Really? I'm going to say cranberry. And see, I'm going to say yes, but I'm 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 going to say yes. I'll give you. 20. What is your action? You well, I'll put you there. Look, what's the what's the rate here? <laughs> uh, it's a twenty dollar gentleman's bet. Robin, what do you say? I'm on the fence on this one. I want to say he can say it. I say he can say it also. Artie, give me the 20, and I can win my 20. Back. 20, you, Howard. I say he will not say All right, here we go. Me and you. 
Cranberry? Got it. Fucker! Jesus. I See? could have had 20 of, uh, of Artie's money. Mm. Uh, so, <laughs> fucker, so, Robin, fuck stains. I guess when Artie hands me $20, it. I'm going to give it right to you. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll give it to Robin. All right, you're going to cut we'll out the middle cut man. out the middle man. Right. You know, Peter Pay Paul. <laughs> All right, you owe Robin $20. Okay, it's, early. Huh. it's early. It's early. We'll see what happens. All right, I got a couple more words here. Here's one. Coronation. Coronation. C O R. He can't say that. O N A T I O N. Can't say it. Can't no. say it. No. Come on, Ari. Don't even waste your time. I, I, I can't think he's sick of that. All right. No, no, no bets. action on this no. one? I say he can't say coronation. It's one of those games where there's no line, it's off the board. <laughs> here we go. Uh, Coronerator? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next word. The next word is fellatio. Oh, M no. F-E-L-L-A-T-I-O. Fellatio. He's going to get that one. No way. 20 he, bucks. 20 bucks. Right, let's go. Right now. Fellatio he'll get? I'm in yeah, on this He's going to get it. Uh, Back uh, off my action. Well, no, wait a minute. I want to get in on this. No. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll 20 with each of you. All right, fine. All let, right. Her, let her put up 20 apiece. All right. All right, fine. All right. You say she can't. He can't yeah, say I'm saying he can't All say right. it. You think he can I, say it. He's getting this one. Here we go. Uh, Filato? Oh, you <laughs> killed me. See, Artie was right. It was early. <laughs> now Filato. you owe me 20 bucks. Uh, and no. you're, and Artie, uh, well, Artie and I are even. even. All right. Robin owes me 20. <laughs> See how things change, Artie? Filato. I told you. <laughs> Hazelnut Filato. All right, next word up for grabs. The betting is not over, Robin. You do get a chance. All right, I can make it back. Corsage. C-O-R-S-A-G-E. Will he say corsage? Mm. That would be wrong. Corsage. How is there any way? I'm going to say he says it. <laughs> really? I'm going to agree with you. There's got to be one in here he can He's say. He's got to be able to say something or yeah. we wouldn't have a game. Uh, I say, that I'm shit. saying he, yeah, I'm trying to actually What about it, Artie? Any money on the table? Fuck it. I'm, I'm a betting man. I'm going to say he can't say it. <laughs> uh, I'll go perfect. 20 with each of you. All right. All right. You're on. Uh-oh. What happened? He didn't even say anything. <laughs> My win. He exploded. Uh, Corzig? Oh, jeez. Uh, Corzig? Oh, I'm up goodness. 20, yeah, 20, 20 from the 20. both of you. All right, I owe Artie 20 and Robin and owes I me 20. I owe him 20. But thank God you owe me 20. <laughs> <laughs> so I just give it right to Artie. Right. I'll give Artie 40. Right, I'm even. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, don't get so heavy with yourself. Up Who's there. the fat idiot now? <laughs> Emancipated is the next word in the oh. evil day. Oh. I'm going with I'm he gonna, says it. I'm going to spell it for you. E-M-A-N-C-I-P-A-T-E-D. I say he can't. I'm going to say he says this one. I if, say he can't. Uh, if you board. give me 10 to 1, I'll say, uh, not only does I, do I say he gets it wrong, I'll tell you what he will say, emaciated. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I, what are you going to say, Robin? Here? I say he can say it. Really? I say he can't. Oh. He, he gets I'll go this. 20 with you. 20 it is? Here we go. Emancipated? He got it. Ah! Holy shit. I wiped out one of those 20s. You didn't give me a chance to bet there, so I still, <laughs> I I'm know, still up 40. You too quick on the trigger. You, you I could have had some along. of Artie's money, too. I owe, I owe Robin 20 bucks. <laughs> and then I No, guess... actually, you don't. I owed you 20, didn't I? You did, but then we... See... It's all confused now. Uh, so, but I'm still owed forty. So how is that? So Howard owes me twenty, and you yeah. owe me twenty. Right? right. Okay. I owe already twenty. And Robin owes me twenty because she can't. She she cut her right, Robin. Right. Down right. To 20 so now you pay already your own. I wanted to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The next word is conquistador. <laughs> no. C O. He got emancipated. C O N Q U I S T A D. Can he get two in a row? That's how I have. Is this just a joke? This word? No. Conquistador. I have to say no. I have to say no also. No. Robin? I'm going to say yes. I have a yes. Wow. Oh. I'll take 20 on that. Uh, 20? 20? You want 20 All with right, me, too? Come on. Come All on. Right. All right. All right. I'm going to bet that Howard can't work the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> $20. Here we right. go again. Wait. Constevador? Oh. Yeah. That serves you right. Constevador? <laughs> All right. Robin, you owe me 20 bucks. And I owe Artie 40. Wow. And Howard owes me twenty. Right. So you're up sixty. Mm -hmm. How did you think he could say conquista? Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm just betting. You know what's weird about this? You know what's throwing us off about this game is, in the other games, they throw in words that they definitely 
wouldn't know, and then for right. some reason they know it. I think with this game, they're throwing it somewhere just for comedy. All bets are off. Yeah. There's a word here I'm not even familiar with. This is the next word up for grabs. Rapscallion. Oh, my God. R-A-P-S- He'll never no. say that. No. R- no. What is a rapscallion? Um, Richard knew this word. It's like uh, somebody uh, mischievous or evil. Yeah, it's like a rascal. Like a rascal. Exactly. R-A-P-S-C-A-L-I-O-N. Well, why not ask him to say rascal? Yeah, I R-A-P-S-C-A-L-L-I-O-N. Either word he ain't saying. Yeah, <laughs> I say he can't say rapscallion. No, I'm not going for that one. Uh, Artie? How can I say he can say it? I mean, All right, I'll come on, 20 it. bucks. I, since can't, I, I, put... I can't say he can say oh. it. <laughs> All right, since there's no betting, let's hear him try to say Say the word rapscallion. Rapscallion? Wow! Oh, imagine. Wow. Does that make any sense at no, all? No. No. You rapscallion. <laughs> Maybe uh, Cromwell called him that when he was out Maybe of line. Maybe that's a big bid west. There are three words left. Mm-hmm. Only three words left, and then the bidding closes. All right. The betting, rather. Quadruplets is the next word. Quadruplets. Q-U-A-D-R-U-P-L-E-T-S. No. I say no. It's in there for comedy. No way he says it. No way. No way. I can't get any betting going on this one. No. Uh, Quindruplets? Quindruplets? Quindruplets. Quindruplets. (laughs) (laughs) All right, the next word up. This is a good one, I think. Might get some debate going. Psychological. P-S-Y-C-H-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L. The man has said some difficult words. He even got Zimbabwe. He might know. Psychological. Psychological. Oh, geez, can he... Is he going to botch this because he's reading it? I don't know how I feel about this word. Psychological? He should be able to say uh, that. I think I say no. He's going to say like physiological or say he's got to fuck this up. I say no. I say yes. 20? 20. Let's go. Psychological? Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. All right. I, I you don't know me. one of those 20s. All right. You don't know. Now we're even. I still owe Artie 20 bucks though, right? And I owe him 40. All right, there's one last word here. Marty, I would like a shot at my 20. All right, let's And I'd uh, like a shot at my 40. Let's really get right, some, I'm a, something I'm a, going I'm here. a gambling fool. You know me. <laughs> the word and final word is quagmire. Oh. Q-U-A-G-M-I-R-E. Could Evil Dave sit down, stare at a piece of paper, and get the word quagmire right? No. I say no. Quagmire. All right, I'm going to say yes. So right. I'll give Robin, you owe me 40? Yeah. And you owe me 20. That's correct. So I'll give you a chance to get even. Thank you. And uh, what the fuck, Robin? You want to go double or nothing? Let's go. All right. So this can make everybody even. I, I say, say no. I say he can say quagmire. There's no All way right. in hell. All right. I'll bet you a hundred fucking dollars Come on, on this one. Here Come we on. go, baby. Uh, Quagmire. <laughs> Artie, this is so typical of you. Uh, you're, you up, were up. you're up, you're up, and then you lose. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Quinn, where is that in? Where is it in? Quinmeyer. How did he get Rapscallion? One sound. I don't know. One I, sound. This is so Artie's history with that. <laughs> That's why I hate that. Like you said, it's a long game. Yes. Man. Well, at least I'm even. We were up and we were down. Uh, Quinn Meyer. (laughs) See, that's the gambler's mentality. If you have that much fun and get that much action and you're even, you've won. (laughs) You had your up and you're down. You have a good time. It wasn't boring. Life wasn't boring for 10 minutes and it cost you nothing. He's an amazing man, Evil Dave. We want to thank him. I love this game. Quinn Meyer. He's a a shithead. (laughs) (laughs) Where does he see a fucking N? Quinn Meyer. Wait till he gets in here again. Uh, top five reasons why I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. Uh, number five, her husband Bill is uh, Fry Roy Young Javot Faraga Gonzava. Number four, I love the smell of her cousin uh, Nis uh, Kimva. Who's in uh, Skimbutz? <laughs> and we're back with the Jack and Rod Show. Today we have a special guest in the studio, Mr. David Letterman. Morning. How are you folks doing today? All right. On our phone now we have Sharon K. Jackson, author of Who's Watching Your Drink? A gripping account of drug rape and survival. Well, the book Who's Watching Your Drink came about, I was 22 years old. Excuse me. Can I, can I just interrupt for a second? Sure. I, I just want to ask you, have you ever used the drug uh, penis and... No, uh-uh. It, it works wonders. Really? Yeah, penison. I will. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Do you mind if I drop my pants and, you know, start fondling <laughs> myself? Excuse me? He's just making a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't get this crazy on his TV show, so he gets a little randy here. Oh, is that right? Okay. Well, you know, there's just different things you can do to stay safe. 
Let me ask you something, Sharon. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but but uh, is there any type of pill I can get in my own drink? David, do you want to spike your own drink? Right, because I, I once dated uh, this fat broad, and and the stink, uh, you know, from her box almost killed me. Oh. <laughs> let, let me ask you this now. Can I ask you something a little off the subject? It depends. All right. Well, is 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 penis size important? I, I hope to hell not. But what I, does that have to do with drink spiking? What what is the the youngest legal age uh, you can use the uh, chloroform on a boy? Gosh, I wouldn't know that one. Uh huh. But isn't some of the blame uh, on the type of women uh, who wear short skirts? Uh, aren't they basically asking for it? You know that kind of thing. Absolutely not. Nobody <laughs> has to be raped. It's just a. Well, I don't mean to interrupt, but you know, off the subject, I I I, uh, I stuck a pencil in a cat's uh, behind once. Uh, does that mean yes? Or doesn't? Does sometimes no mean yes? Is that raping the cat? <laughs> well, is it a, is it illegal to drug and rape an animal? That has nothing to do with it. Uh huh. Is this David Letterman, like the David yes. Letterman that's on the television show? Yeah. yeah. Are you a fan? Oh, I do watch your show. Well, let me ask you this. Can you can you list the most common date rate drugs? Yeah, GHB. <laughs> all right, all right, slow down there. Let me get this. Because I'm trying to write these down while you're rattling them off. <laughs> Gamma, hydroxy, butanate. And, that, you know, that reminds me, uh, is there a date rape uh, drug that looks like a, a Flintstone vitamin, do you think? No, I don't think so. <laughs> can can date rape drugs, uh, you know, be uh, integrated uh, in, in the anals? God, I don't know. Oh, God. If I check my son's temperature, you know, with my penis, can that be classified as, as date rape? Excuse me? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Well, there he is, Evil Dave, up to his evil work. <laughs> that that woman evil. just hung in there, huh? She sure did. What about those anals? <laughs> into, my, into my cat's anals. <laughs> I'd like to chloroform some girl because um, her box smelled so bad. Uh, I want yeah. to chloroform myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> He's, he was being a total rapscallion there. <laughs> He's a rascal. Evil Dave is here. Hey, pal. Good morning, Howard. How are David you? David Letterman, you're on strike. Of course, that's why you're able to come in here this morning. Your own show's been out for a couple of months, and I do want are to applaud you. Are you missing are... being on the air? Oh, it's it's terrible, Rob. And, I... and, and Howard, I just want to thank you for having me here. I, I love being here. I'm, I'm happier than a, a fat, poor Mexican housewife with a handful of scratch-off lottery tickets. Well, let me tell you, you are way more edgier on Sirius Satellite Radio than you are on your own yeah. TV show, David Letterman. And, and I, I just like to say uh, to everyone in the audience, uh, Merry Christmas. And, uh, you know, if you're Jewish or anything else, fuck you. I'm not, I'm not saying happy holidays. It's Merry Christmas, goddammit. All right. And, Dave, you are being very generous to your own staff. You're paying them. Right. Even though they're on strike, the writers, you're paying uh -huh. all the rest of the staff so that they don't have to be without a job this yeah, Christmas. Yeah, because, you know, it's it's kind of a bummer not to be getting anything at Christmas. Right. So, you know. well, How do you, you feel about Jay Leno not uh -huh. knowing what to do? <laughs> why, why did you have to spoil a good conversation so early in the morning? Why, why did you have to do that? Uh -huh. David Letterman, uh, we, uh, we welcome you here this morning. Thank you. You, you know, Howard, I, I love the, the Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center. Yes. It really gets me into the, the Christmas spirit, and it's it's a great place to meet young boys. Is it? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't never know that. thought of that. Yeah. I'm sure you're joking, right? Well, no. I... No? Oh, okay. Right. And, you know, I, 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 thought about, I thought about skipping this appearance because of the writer's strike, but, you know, unlike Sal's wife, once I uh, commit to something, I, I stick with it. <laughs> right. Well, good for you, and we welcome you here, and at least you have an outlet during the writer's strike yeah, while you're here. And I appreciate that. Yeah, and congratulations on your successful relationship with Gene Alasco, and, yeah. of course, your, your son Harry, and, and all the good things that are happening for you this Christmas season. I appreciate it. Thank you. By the way, I, I don't know what's more dangerous, uh, walking through a black neighborhood or, or sitting near uh, Fred Norris. <laughs> right. Well, okay. You know, you, you talk about that comment, walking through a black neighborhood. This guy, Barry Melrose, has, has had to apologize. He's on ESPN. Hey, you, ever been, you ever been to Jersey? No, I just, I was going to say, you know, Howard, I, I wish I could be invisible for a day because uh, I could hear all, you know, what all the uh, the blacks say about me behind my back. Mm. Oh, I see. <laughs> It's a good thought. You ought to do that on your show. You think sure. blacks are talking about you, Dave? I don't know. I, I but People are talking about me. Speaking of that, uh, you know, all I want for Christmas is uh, Fred's uh, uncut meat. 
<laughs> That's a funny and, and line. You were mentioning something. Somebody got to write that into there. Like, uh, Jimmy Kimmel. What, what about Jimmy Kimmel? Well, you know, Jimmy Kimmel should should lick my ball sack and, and let me fuck uh, that cunt uh, Sarah Silverman for all the, the shit he's stolen from me. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm you saying? Could, you, know, you, know, you know, Dave, he yeah. idolizes you. I, yeah. I think but he sees I, it more I, as an homage to you. Yeah, I, I shouldn't talk that way at Christmas because, because you know, I, I love this time of the year. Uh, every year on Christmas, uh, I disguise myself as a homeless man and uh, eat dinner, you know, in a soup kitchen, and, and then I drive away in a limousine. All right. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> well... I think. <laughs> what is it, Dave? Levin? You know, Howard. Everyone has a, has a purpose in life. Everybody has a purpose in life, and I think Artie's is is being a, a big fat meatball. <laughs> you do. You think he'll always be fat? Don't you a, think he can get thin? A meatball. A meatball. A meatball. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Dave. All right. Well, Artie would only take that from one man, and that's you. He loves doing your Thank show. Thank you very much. I, but I guess to me it seems sweet. It really does. Yeah. Well, you All know right. something, Benji. I just got to say, you know, no matter what anyone says. I just have to say, you don't look like a 400-pound pug. Well, thanks. That's what Ivy said. <laughs> there you go. Did someone say that he looks like a 400-pound yeah, pug? 400-pound pug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Dave. Yeah, I got that right. Huh? Hey, you, uh, you've got them all right so far. <laughs> Miracle. Uh, Lisa, go ahead. Howard, can I just say something? If, yeah. If I make Robin laugh like Jim Florentine makes her laugh, can I get to fuck her? I ask her. I don't ask know. Jim. Yeah, just <laughs> not to be working for him. Right. Is Jim not fucking you? Really? I can't believe he's put this much time and he hasn't fucked you yet. Why not, though? I thought you were on the prowl. You how, want to get laid. How do you know how much time he's put in? I don't know. I know you went on a couple of dates with him. Robin, if, if I put Jim Florentine on my show when I get back, then will you fuck me? <laughs> Would you use the guy washing his hands? <laughs> Dave Letterman making the offer. It's almost like an indecent proposal, Dave. You're yeah. going to put Jim Florentine on <laughs> if Robin fucks you. Exactly. That's it. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. I Wouldn't think it over, Robin. if Jim gets on the show? Howard, you know what, you know what I like about uh, dogs? Uh, they can't call the cops uh, when you fondle their genitals. Oh, boy. <laughs> and Dave Letterman. You always find back. a bright side, don't you? Uh, right, Dave, Just don't right. do it to an undercover police dog. <laughs> right. We'll be back right after these words. David Letterman joining us this morning. Hi, Dave. Howard, you know, I, I think I just uh, shit myself. Oh, wait, never mind. I, I'm just smelling Benji's salad. Oh, that was a close one. Is that Benji's salad? Oh, oh now I shit myself. Sorry. Okay. All right, so you'll be a judge as well. <laughs> Sometimes I think I shit myself, Dave, when I smell yeah. Benji's salad over here. <laughs> I understand. I'm, I'm not standing in a fucking mask for a half an hour. Please, please. I'm not. I'm begging you. You know, Howard, I, uh, I love... Uh, uh, Jason, come and hold the microphone. No, no, you no. Know, I'm on strike. Uh, Baba Booey's lips. Uh, they make a great uh, penis warmer. They do. <laughs> The, fucking welding. I can't breathe in these no, things. No, not the welding mess. The cover people. yourself, ape. No, I'm not. No, no. What, what did you say? I don't know. He said cover yourself. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> you know, Howard, she, she, seems, uh, she seems very open-minded. I can teach you. I, I wanted to ask Peaches, would she uh, be open to uh, blowing a man with uh, pubic lice? Oh, that's Is that right? So gross. Dave Letterman. Do you, you ever watch Letterman? No. no. Okay. Amanda that's sounds you like You don't that. recognize that man over there. You don't recognize David Letterman? <laughs> Show me what you do to that popsicle, please. Well, I like to use my hand a lot while I'm doing it. Okay. So I just Show yeah. us, please. Ah, oh, yes. You got to get it nice and wet first. Okay. You know, lick the sides. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are terrific. And then you got it. Yes. Do this. Do That's this. horrible. Let me show you how to do it. And then the balls. <laughs> ah, it's yeah. candy. It's hard. <laughs> I'm going to go to Dave Letterman. Dave, go ahead. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I'm voting for the, the bald, pudgy one at the end of the line. Oh, that's <laughs> Kanji. Oh. You can't vote for him. Hey. hey, you can't play. He's got the biggest touch. Oh, I got to say, I got to say, uh, Nikki. Yeah. Nikki. She's Nikki's, easy on the eyes. Nikki gets Nikki's the, the hottest Dave. one with yeah. the yeah. smallest boobs for you. Yeah. Mm. yeah, Dave might know. For once, he might know what he's talking about. <laughs> mm. I mean, He's already having Mr. One. Majors. What is it, David? Yeah. I just have a question for Mr. Majors. Yes. With all your medical enhancement, do you ever having ever have any problems getting through, you know, airport security? <laughs> no, no, he's not really the six million. All right, all right. thank you. All right. Thank you, Howard. All right. You know, Howard, I just want to say that the thought of, of Farrah uh, getting banged by Lee Majors uh, <laughs> really gets me hot. God, I'd love to ram that fella. Oh. Yeah, huh? I'd love to get rammed by that fella, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I heard you I the first time. I don't know what you're saying over there. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, I... 
excuse me. I'm no, not next, sleeping. Next time, could we do, uh, you know, smallest tits, hottest boy? Can we do that? <laughs> smallest tits, hottest boy? Yeah, next time we have a contest <laughs> like that. Dave, I didn't. You're surprising me. I you see do on that TV. on your show. Yeah, right. I see. I see on TV. You don't like this. I mean, it's uh, way edgier. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I like to. I like to be choked it's during over sex the because uh, my only what? problem is that I I black out just before the guy comes on me. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> way edgier. <laughs> <laughs> you like to be choked during sex? Oh yeah, I got a lot of time on my hands now. You know. You know, you know, Howard. I, I noticed uh, there's some uh, loose change uh, stuck in your couch. Whatever. Oh, wait a minute. It's already stomach. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not a couch. Oh, sorry. You know, Howard. I, I just wanted to say that that Har you know, Artie is really a generous guy. I, I heard for the holidays he's going to be, you know, going to let homeless children stand under his belly and and catch the falling quarters. <laughs> is that right? That Adam? would be nice. You know, I, I and I'm not surprised that change fell from Artie's gut. They say you are what you eat, so I guess that makes him, what, a, a vending machine? I don't know. What? Uh, that wasn't no. that strong. <laughs> but, Artie, let me ask you something. How are you going to have the energy to do the coming out prank with me? <laughs> How are you going to have the energy to do the coming out mm -hmm. prank to me, rather? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you want to come out to Dave? Wow. <laughs> Is Dave a gay guy? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I don't understand that one. No, he's just a funny Vietnamese guy. Swiss, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Howard, do you know what the, the little bumps around a woman's uh, nipples are for? What? No. It, it's Braille for suck here. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Wow. I even got bong hit in this chat room saying you're an asshole for leaving mm -hmm. me on hold for as long as you Bong do. hit's going to say... He's just catering to you mm -hmm. to get He's just you to getting talk. you to talk. Oh, shut up, you grumpy midget. <laughs> You're more retarded than the real David Letterman. Yeah, Shut right. the fuck up. Howard, could I, I rent uh, the kid from you to hang from my tree? Who, oh, Eric? Yeah. Wow. I don't own him. You can't rent him from me. Do you rent a brain? Uh, shouldn't you be stalking the DeGormos right now? <laughs> <laughs> Call us on St. Patrick's Day, buddy. I would love to see the real David Letterman knock your ass out. That is David Letterman, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. No? No, it's no, David, David Letterman. No brain. Yeah. It's a fucking no brain that you have come in there. No, nah, that's David Letterman. Hey, I'll prove it. Say something. Quiet, troll. Okay. <laughs> Don't ruin the illusion, you freak. <laughs> I've seen him on the show and he looks nothing like yeah. the real David Letterman. All right. No, that's oh, just because he's like not it. wearing makeup. Well, wait till you see his new pink hair dye. That's right. Are you? Did you dye your hair? Huh? Did you dye your hair? Oh, we'll talk about that Is later. it pink? What's going on? It's like looking like Edgar, Edgar Winter. What did you do to your hair? I was like Johnny Winter. No, what did you do? I, you know. You know no, tell the in, truth. I'm you know asking. Somebody, you, you sent me some Grecian formula. I don't know. He put in that old lady rinse. Huh? <laughs> and, and I didn't take a shower this morning either. I'm sorry. Eric, no, well, Evil Dave has got a new business. <laughs> what, yeah, is what is it? Oh, you want to promote the business? All right. Well, I, I'm, I'm getting into the... Uh, uh, I'm getting into the catering business, Howard. Really? Dessert catering, yeah. His new girlfriend. You didn't know about that. Fucking fleeced him into investing in a yeah. dessert catering. It's business. called Desiree Chocolates, yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, www. Uh, Desiree Chocolate. Com. How uh, much? Uh, how much did you invest in it? Huh? How much did you invest in it? Well, I, I haven't invested yet. We got to see what's going to happen. What do you mean? Well, leave his hair alone. Yeah. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Will's rubbing his head. Yeah. So. His girlfriend makes chocolate? No, no, no. Her, my, her friend is, is uh, you know, getting into chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. It's Christmas. <laughs> what is the web? What is the web name? It's uh, it's www. Uh, Desiree uh, uh, Chocolate. Do you realize what a bad name and that I, is? And I, yeah, Desiree. Yeah. I mean, there's a million ways to spell yeah, Desiree. Who knows how to spell that? But it's me, you know. And I brought some for Artie to get him off his diet. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, so you. <laughs> We can watch you eat uh, on the on the wrap -up he, he show. said his, he said he said to me it's great because everybody needs dessert. <laughs> That's when I was looking at those girls. Uh, <laughs> right. That's what I really well, Eric. Need uh, Eric. Howard, what is it, Dave? Can can Eric pull his uh, PJ pants uh, on his webcam, please? <laughs> pull Eric. down his PJ pants on his D webcam. Dave Letterman wants you to pull uh, down your PJ pants so he can see your penis. Can you have another massive heart attack, David? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. All right. Let's not let's not go about that. Let's not joke about that. All you right. know, Charlie's Angels is just going to ignore you like every other chick, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Eric, I mean, Howard, can I suggest something? Sure, Dave, you're in show. Eric, business. if you have a shower scene, I'll watch it. <laughs> Anything with you swimming, I'd watch. <laughs> Floating. Floating. <laughs> I'll, I'll play a nurse who has to sponge uh, bathe you. I'll play the bar of soap. <laughs> Eric, are you buoyant? Do you hear this movie idea already? You got David Letterman giving you a bath <laughs> as a nurse, dressed up as a nurse, in a tub. I would watch that. Yeah. I don't know. Call me crazy. That I like comedy. it. That's got commercial yeah. possibility. That is comedy. You know. He'd be someone I'd kill off quick. All right, fine. Kill him off. Kill off his star. <laughs> and and who would you marry? All right. What is that, Dave? Evil Dave. Sit on the Sibian. You'll sit on the Sibian? Yeah. I would love to see that. Dave, and, and by the way, if, if, Nikki, if Nikki wants a talk show, uh, you can you could come on my show. Uh, just will you, will you step on my balls? Yes, actually, right. I've, I've done that. I love Ooh, doing that. Stepping on balls? That sounds painful. Plus, Evil Dave will be stopping by the wrap-up show to discuss his time in the studio today, the suggestions he had for Eric the Midget's script, his new side venture, which stemmed from Dave's girlfriend's friend getting into chocolates. By the way, Howard, can I just say something? Is it true John Hine uh, doesn't masturbate? That's true. Oh, what a homo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? And plus, uh, in, reactions to meeting the one and only Evil Dave in person. Well, Howard, most of I, the interns have not met uh, Evil Dave. Yeah. Not face-to-face, -face, no. I, I just yeah, want to say, can Steve the intern do his uh, update nude, please? Well, I don't know if about <laughs> that. I don't know if he wants to do that. You know, Howard, can I just say one thing? I, you know, I'm a little worried about sitting in George uh, Takei's chair. I mean, I don't want to catch whatever uh, that gay disease he has or anything. You know, the one that makes him uh, suck cock? <laughs> you no, think he left that on the chair? Being gay is not a disease. All right. All right? I mean, no offense. All right, wait, wait, Calm down. Anyway. Let us do the news. You know, Howard, I saw Sal's comedy act recently, and I could uh, eat alphabet soup and uh, shit better jokes. <laughs> You'd actually eat alphabet soup, and better jokes would come yeah. out of your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And speaking of which, you know, during the commercial break, I, I, I took a shit in Martha's Christmas tree. Make something crafty out of that, bitch. All right, can I ask you to quiet down while I play Alex right, Trebek? <laughs> when these are becoming words. You know, it's it's also the sound I make when I uh, when a man puts his tongue in my ass. Woot! Is that what you say? Uh-huh. <laughs> I never knew that. When are you uh, going back to work on that? Letterman I don't know. You show? know, the, the downside of this writer's strike thing is that we have no new shows, but the upside is it's lots of uh, Jew-free days around the office. Oh. You know, you know what I like to do for uh, for Christmas, Howard, which is always fun. I like to uh, stick a bottle of dishwashing liquid up my ass and blow butt <laughs> bubbles for my son Harry. Wow, uh, not bum. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Anything else, Rob? That Robin? sounds wrong to me. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Jew bashers. Those are the real heroes. No, Dave, uh, you're not supposed to be for that. Uh, you're supposed to be against it. Okay, you're a TV host, but still very controversial. Yeah. What? Helping a Jewish person? No, Dave. No. It's humor here. <laughs> I, couldn't yeah, that... sit, I couldn't get through ten pages of Don Rickles. I love Don Rickles. How about reading a diet book, Tubby? <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to Robin? And yeah, finally, one of the most <laughs> beloved television hosts in Cuba. <laughs> and Dave Letterman, thank you. Thank you, buddy. I, I Evil Dave, uh, I should uh, say. You're going to be Dave. a Secret Santa tomorrow, Howard? Yeah, a Secret Santa. Well, leave it to a Jew, a black, and a gambling addict to find a way not to buy everyone presents. <laughs> There you go. Incidentally, I got you a present, Howard. What is? It? I got you uh, 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 my favorite book, Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, you Dave, did a good job a today. You're a hoot, but we're 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 burned out. Good luck in chocolate. <laughs> well, this is exciting. What a great day. I've been looking forward to the newly weird game for a very, very long time. Brought to you by our sponsor, HotMovies.com. Yes, love is in the air. And I love love. And, of course, I love being a game show host. My biggest aspiration in life was that I would become a game show host one day, but it didn't work out. And instead, I resorted to penis jokes. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, here we are at the Newly Weird Game. This is exciting. And uh, let me announce the couples who are going to be playing today. All right, couples, we're going to now get to the third couple. And uh, Evil Dave, you've been on our show how many times? Oh, God, I, I can't even count. We have you on because you sound like David Letterman. Exactly. We know you can't count, but how many have you been on the show? Right. And you told, me, you told me you got a divorce. Is that correct? Yes, I got a divorce. All right. You got a divorce and you met a lovely woman, what, six to nine months ago? Was it yes. said nine months ago? Nine months ago. Okay. Now, listen. I invite you in here because I like you. Thank you. 
And I have to tell you something. There isn't a person in this room <laughs> believes this woman is your girlfriend. No way. No and way. And Dave, you're sabotaging. Thank you for the vote of confidence. I appreciate well, that. You're a lovely, beautiful girl. What is your name? Angie. Angie. If you're going to stay. She's not even sure of her name. Yeah, Angie. If you're gonna stage, <laughs> Dave, the cue cards aren't up yet. Go ahead. Dave, <laughs> if you're going to stage something, yeah. at least stage somebody within yeah, your believe, capability. Yeah, get somebody get something believable. Listen, you know, I, I admit it. I When we first uh, started going out, I, I consider myself very lucky and. Uh, you know, Dave, I big Dave. like a dog, but Dave, uh, here's the here's <laughs> enough with the Lou Gehrig bit. I gotta bust you because I, I believe in honesty. I know, I know. Blue Iris and Ron all this. Sal met your girlfriend, the woman that you're dating, and this isn't her. Let me explain that. <laughs> uh. The girl I brought was Angie. I uh, both know her. She wanted to come and meet everybody. Angie could not get away that night. Yeah, but, so what but, we did, Dave, Dave, what? Yeah, we're doing a bit here between couples and That's talking right. about how well they know each other. You can't just bring a stranger in here. I did not bring a stranger. This is a stranger. <laughs> she, is, <laughs> she is not a stranger. If she, you're saying that's your girlfriend, you're going to maintain that. You better believe it. Sal, <laughs> you know, why did the two of you make out right now? <laughs> first, we first started going out in July. And um, Angie, would you make a French kiss him right now? <laughs> in front of everybody? Else. Yeah, in front of everyone. Let me see that. I know it's embarrassing, but you have to go ahead and do it. Angie, come clean. This is not your boyfriend, is it? He is. Angie, then make out with him. <laughs> he wants to, oh my she God! <laughs> For the radio audience, Angie has a look on her face. Like the mind, ladies and gentlemen. Getting beheaded on Al Jazeera. <laughs> Evil Dave, listen to me. This is a horrible joke you're playing on me and my audience. Uh -huh. I, I don't know why you would do this. I don't know what you're It's April Fool's Day. April what? Fool's Day. No, no, no. no, no we, she's we, legit. She's we even legit. paid you to give gave you some money because we knew it was hard for you to get in. No. And the thing, what do you legit. know? And, and Sal no, met your my girlfriend. My hand to God. Well, legit she what? Met, Sal met your girlfriend. I know, this and I knew her. we'd get back to you on that. No, this is her. The other one, <laughs> the other one was a big... <laughs> You're gonna Boy, is my face red. You're gonna, no, the other one, you're gonna stick with this story. I will stick with you're the story. You're gonna continue lying to me. She won't even kiss you. She won't make out with you. She will kiss me. I, I don't want to make out. Just, you don't want to make out. Can I say, can I say, I mean, this, yes, is, Gary, this, go ahead. this is the worst thing you could oh, have done. Oh, sure. To me. Go ahead. Be an instigator. Go ahead, Gary. It's the worst thing you could have done to me. I mean, Brad is here. Set this up. It's a Ron big is contest. here with Blue Iris. Come on. Hand to God. Hand to God, what? Tell me what this I is. I begged like a dog to get this girl to first go out with me. I am so lucky to have We her. believe that. Hey, Dave, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Dave, I'm going to put this to rest right now. You've yes, told Gary. us many times on the wrap up show that the woman that you're dating works with you. And then she, I just ask your your girlfriend what no, she works and, and she doesn't work with you. I used to work with She him. used to work with me. I don't know. Why won't you kiss him? Why do you look like a hostage? <laughs> Can you please put them out of mind. Would you what? Please what? Oh, oh, well, oh my god. Oh, oh my god, wow. <laughs> Everybody satisfied? No. Right, now put your, and, and I now put, your, now put your finger in his ass. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a family show. <laughs> Wait a second. I want you to swear to God, the Lord Jesus Christ, that this is your girlfriend of six months. I swear to God on only that is holy in this universe. This is my girlfriend. This is my main squeeze. She's my buddy. And how She's long has she been your girlfriend? Nine months. Swear on the life of your children. I swear on the life of my children. All right. Wow. And, I'll Is it the other well, and you are making out. Yeah. You're not lying to me. No, I'm not lying to you. David, who was the woman that Sal met? Yeah, who did I meet? That was a woman who works with me at the company. She was very interested in meeting everybody. So I said, and I got Angie's permission. I said, you want to meet them? You want to meet Sal? I said, yes, yeah, she's a big fan of the show. And <laughs> she also wanted me to push. Let me finish, Robin. She also wanted me to push the chocolate. I said, let me get let me get clearance from the tower here, and uh, she said, it was, Good <laughs> "That's right, you laugh or you get it, Artie." Uh, let me get let me get clearance very, from the very, tower. Very pretty, and yes, yes. And I don't and believe you could get her. I told you, I begged like a dog when we first went out. I admit it. He treats me like a princess. Thank yes. you. And right. he's better. Sal. Right. Sal. That's right. And by the way, Howard, was, his girlfriend, when I met her, made it very clear they were boyfriend and girlfriend. She loves the show. We they were, were definitely together. And she made it clear, just like you did in the past, Dave, that she would never, he ever appear. on the life of his children was, and on the Lord Jesus Christ that this is his girlfriend. Yeah, but he's also missing a few brain cells, Howard, and there's $5,000 on the line. You know, think about it. <laughs> Come on, Sal. Give me a little credit. I love you, Dave, but I, I met your girlfriend. Credit.
All right, Ralph, what do you want? Please give me a little credit. Ralph, what are you still doing here? It's the quiet ones you have to watch out for. Throw him out. This is ridiculous. When he just kissed her, you could tell that that she was getting attacked. It looked like a giant fish sucking her face in. Oh, stop it. You're you're ruining the show. Get out of here. It's about honesty. Would Dave feel her up right now? No, I'm not going (laughs) to. I mean, I'm not going to. All right, thank you, guys. Listen, they made out. Robin. I guess we have to go ahead. I'm going to go contest. with this. I'm going to go ahead I with the would contest. I doubt that they'll match. Does anybody all? believe I can occasionally get lucky? For no. God's <laughs> sake, absolutely. Not. I believe. Even if I don't have a, some dead presidents on me, can anybody believe no. that? No. Right. Are you in ecstasy, dude? No. 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 Right. Yes. So the two of you are. Are you in love with Dave? Oh, come on. Yeah. We're getting you are. there. You are Howard, getting can there. I say something, Howard? All right. Howard. Howard. Okay. One, 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 one last thing. let them play then. Yes, she looks so repulsed right now from making out with him. I ask you to make out with him one more time. I don't think you'd go through with it. She, look at her. She looks like she just, just got are raped. You, are you going to throw up from making out with him? <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah, make out. I want to see your tongue hit his tongue and swirl them around just for five seconds. <laughs> what, do we go need ahead. an instant replay for Because yeah. it's bullshit. Go ahead, do it. Well, but then, since to, since uh, you are lover, what, with George and Brad, they'll, they'll do more yeah, than that. Right. They'll go right in the shower. <laughs> Laugh One you, last kiss to prove to everyone with the tongue. Tongue swirls. Let's go. Go ahead, and then we will Why believe. Why do you want to see this? We need because to see a liar. Because we need, we need to see it. Go ahead. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he licks her like a dog. Oh, well. That, that would be doggy style, Robin. You are some operator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the worst kisser you've ever seen? Oh, my God. But they God. did it. They, 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 you Try guys me. really are. Uh, they, hey, they did it. I have to hand it to them. They are. <laughs> Doug, they, they did it. They, they did it. the good ones for the wrap up show. You know what All I'm right, saying? Good. No, I, go I am convinced. Dave, thank, thank you. Thank you, Howard. I am convinced, Dave. Now, can Angie make out with Blue Iris? Angie, I apologize. Let's see how well sure. they know each other. Uh, all right, That's we'll great. see how well you know each other now. All right, all right it's go, time for the newly weird game. And what we're going to do is ask the uh, spouses of the famous person from the show to leave. And I will ask questions, and then we'll see if you can match. The people who match the most get a $5,000 prize for the newly weird game. And here we go. All right, first question. Are you starting with Evil Dave? Starting with Evil Dave. Oh, God. <laughs> Dave. Yes. When you orgasm, yeah. where does the sperm go? <laughs> where does the sperm go? How do you answer that? See, your lover certainly should know the answer to that. She's a clean freak, so I would say um, not, not in the throat. <laughs> but where does it go? Uh, let's see. Where does it go, the sperm? Oh, my God. Can you be more specific? Yeah. <laughs> Not in the throat, but where does it go? <laughs> we can eliminate the throat. That's yeah. fine. All right. Oh uh, probably, uh, you know, probably. Um, Look, Dave. I, know, I wear glasses, so I'd say off to the side. Off to the side of yeah. what? Her face? Are you no, saying? no, no. Just off to the side, side of the side. bed. Yeah. Did you land on the bed? So is it on the bed? Yeah, probably. And then I on catch hell for messing up the sheets. Okay, on the bed. Wait and a minute. The sheets. Wait a minute. Why is he guessing? He, Do you? I'm you've not. Never made no, love no. to this woman. Of course I have. But he shoots onto the bed. It usually hits the midget. Not in the throat. <laughs> All right, he's got it. Yeah. Uh, Dave, your your beautiful partner Angie, who none of us believe is your partner, but yet you've proven it. Uh, what is her favorite sexual position? I will say missionary. Missionary. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Missionary impossible. <laughs> you laugh or you get it right, Artie Hair. All right, let's get back to Evil Day first. Mm-hmm. Name something your partner likes to be called while having sex. I will go with a nickname on that. What I like to call her? Yes. Or what your partner likes My to call her? My little extra Christmas. Little extra Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> we were going to go with victim. Yeah. All right. I'll say my little extra Chris. George <laughs> and Dave, do you have any? This is just a bonus question. I know. I, I doubt we'll even get to this. Dave, what uh, annoys you most? Um, I'll say, I'll stand on, on an answer I gave before. She does, she is a uh, perfectionist. I'll say she's, she gets a little bonus. All, right. all my last questions yeah. are shitty. So here we right. go. Let's yeah. just go to the I was going to say, I thought Dave would say she always calls the cops. <laughs> <laughs> well, not lately, Artie. Right. I mean, I could have asked as a bonus question, if uh, if your partner could have sex with a famous person, who do you think your partner would choose? I could do that. That's a good one. Okay. And? I'll say Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. All right. Not you, Dave. The, uh, you're, you're, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> now, we're going no, to bring, bring in your spouses, your lovers, and let's see how you do. If you give them any clue, I have to disqualify the question. You understand? All right. 
So, I'm going to begin with Evil Dave and his partner, Angie. Remember, the couples that match the most walk away with five thousand dollars oh my god wow. that's good money dave can you use five thousand dollars oh yeah all right so let's see what happens here. also we should tell angie that if you blink three times real quick we will get you help <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take off my glasses there. george and brad i know you're very wealthy men but i'm sure you could always use a five thousand dollars we have a good day. charity to give it okay, to. okay that's very sweet blue iris and ron i know you need the money right yeah right all right so think carefully now when you answer we're going to start with dave and angie robin who's your money on i gotta say it's gotta be brad and uh george don't right. you think what do you say uh Artie? i tell you what I, I i'm gonna i'm gonna put my cash on blue iris all right and let's say uh i'm no one is traitor nobody's Dave taking Angie. evil david <laughs> you never know all right here we free go country. first question free country right <laughs> here's the first question angie we asked dave when your partner orgasms, where does the sperm go? <laughs> Brad is laughing, but it's not your turn, Brad. <laughs> okay, Angie, so you're having sex with Dave. Okay. All right, try to picture that. All right, try to imagine it. <laughs> your wildest imagination. And your partner has an orgasm. Okay. Somewhere that disgusting, gooey stuff has to go somewhere. Where does it go? In me. Inside of you is your answer. Yeah. Well, that's not a match. Dave no. said, on the bed. <laughs> he says he shoots his load onto the bed. See, I, I told you they weren't having I don't want to get you in trouble, for God's sake. <laughs> why, why don't you know what goes inside of her? Huh? How do you not know what goes inside of well, her? Well, you know. Well, you know what? Angie, how can you not get that right? I don't know. It's He's a little... He's a little out of it. Right of center. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right, right of center. Go, I'm going to go to <laughs> Angie. We said the same thing to Evil Dave. If, uh, you know. If you had to choose a position. What's the fave? I like missionary. Missionary position. Let's hold up that sign. It's missionary. missionary. You're on the board. I usually I do something right. You sure do. Thank you. Right okay. of center. Uh, let's go to Evil Dave and Angie, who appear to be the mismatch of the century for some reason, <laughs> but they've proven they are really lovers. All right. Um, if you, uh, we said to Dave, if you could change one thing about Angie, what would it be? Uh, he always said I'm too bossy. Too bossy. Let's take a look. Dave, what did you have? Too bossy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them you know on. what? That's a real couple. I mean, I think so. Look at them coming on. Evil Dave and Angela. Angie. Name something your partner likes to be called while having sex. So what do you like Dave to call you? Let's think here. Well, he always says, my little extra Christmas. <laughs> my little extra Christmas. This is crazy. This is crazy this because is that's an exact crazy. post. My, wow. No, my little I extra. I don't believe this for a second. I mean, what, what, the, what do you think? They're psychic? I think they somehow got the question. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you I'm the only one who has Next week we have Jim Florentine up here. Go ahead. Yeah. Is this an April Fool's? Is this an April Fool's? No, it this is, is not it April is. Fool's. This is, no this is going way. to, in fact, they've already won, but just for yeah. the hell of it, Brad, what do you think? He calls me Bradder. Bradder, that's Whoa. right, and it's a match, that's and you match. ended up coming up with two, but the winners are Evil Dave and Angie. Oh, my goodness. The people oh, that... Who have been together the least, and we're not even sure we're together. Yeah. But yet, people we don't take each other for granted. Yeah. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe it's that new love where I people are used to each other. I maybe guess. that's the problem. I don't know what we've learned here today, but I want to thank Blue Iris and Ron. I want to thank. Uh, we do it in rhyme desert ways. Yeah. I just chose one. Well, but he, he, you know, he does it on the side, too. This is a shocking outcome. I say, I'm underdog. <laughs> the questions were terrible. <laughs> thank you, Robin. <laughs> the questions were tough. I, I, I'm sorry, George and Brad, you must break up. <laughs> <laughs> really, you don't belong. Star. You don't belong with each other, you know. And no. and evil Dave and Angie for doubting you. I apologize. Yeah. The two of you are obviously in sync and very much in love. He oh. doesn't know where the sperm 
Adam goes. <laughs> well, it's only been nine months, for God's sakes. I think what we've learned here is that when you're when you're chained to somebody's uh, radiator in their basement, you learn a lot about them. <laughs> Blue and Ron, I thought. Uh, and yes, constantly bombing sitcoms. Go ahead. Whoa, uh, this guy. Uh, look at you. You're just like the real Dave Letterman. That's Thank you why, very much, That's Howard. why Angie loves him. That's why Angie loves him. Angie, what do you love Angie, most about I do something right. What do you love most about the, the galoot? What do you love about his heart? His heart. He's got a good heart. He, he does. does. One thing I, I had a check, does. too. Right. <laughs> right well, center. The $5,000 are yours, thanks to uh, hotmovies.com. And you Thank can go you, on God. there and uh, get off in uh, minutes, 10 cents a minute. You know how it works. Artie, I just want to say we got to see you when you come to Chicago June 6th. Oh, my pleasure. Absolutely. I will prove to Mr. Sal, beyond the doubt, this is this is numero uno. All right. Very good. No, numero uno. After the show. No. No. Numero I know. only. Thank you. Artie. It sounds Thank like you. wedding bells might be in the future. Isn't that right, Angie? Yeah, that's smitten, huh, Dad? Yeah, that's smitten. Nine months. She is, I, she is a godsend for me. She really is. A little soon for marriage? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, yes. yes. And you, what's the age difference on these two? Yeah, what, what is the age difference on you two? I'm 49 and she's 28. All right, well. Uh, kind of a Bob Levy thing. Go good ahead. Good for you, man. Good <laughs> for you. Yes, yes. It's indeed. a man's world. I... Honest to God, I thank my lucky stars for her every day. I really do. You should. Oh, I do. Yeah. She is. She's the greatest. She really you're is. not kidding. Yeah, she sure is. Uh, yeah. See, you're all broken up about that divorce now. Yeah. Now. Oh. No. <laughs> have you met? Uh, you have you met Angie's family? family? Have you met Angie's family? I've met. I've met her mom, Janine. She's very nice. Her, her mom uh, got in a car and ran away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we had to siphon the gas out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All yeah, right. Good enough. And was nice. her mom able to eventually what, what fit her head in the blender? You know, I'm to take her glasses away from her, but she's. He was fine after that. <laughs> we were talking to... We were talking to Evil Dave on the wrap-up show when he was in a couple of months ago. And we were asking about his girlfriend, and he said that he has to wait till his kids go to sleep and then sneak out of the house in order to go meet his girlfriend. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, what's no. that all about? Well, rules still apply. Rules that, still apply. Rules still apply. <laughs> Can you ever answer a question? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean, the rules still apply? You don't know what that means. But do you know why you have to sneak out? <laughs> it's just, you know... Because they have their they have their friends over and stuff like that, and I want to give them their privacy too. What? <laughs> what? I don't think that sounds so dumb. All right, I'll probably hear about it in the wrap-up. Uh, what show. You Gary's say, working at it right now. Are you saying speak. that uh, you don't want to show your I'm children saying, having sex no, out I'm, of wedlock? I mean, out of no, well, I'm just saying that they have their friends over, right? And it's like, My. no, I don't know. Well, it's, it's a small house, right? So their friends are over. Yeah. But why do you have to sneak out? Why can't you say, I'm going "Everybody, out. I'm going out." I'll make a note of it. No, no, I'm asking a question. No, I just, I do, I just, I tell him now I go out. But you said you used to sneak out. I used to. But why? <laughs> Angie, do you know what it is? We're like Mutt and Jeff. What do you expect? You're Beauty and the Beast. Angie, what's he talking about? I don't know. You don't. <laughs> Angie, well, do you know? he probably because when you have kids, when you have kids, off goes the lingerie, out come the t-shirts, Thank you. and you sneak out. After their sleep. I see. Thank you. Trying to conceal the Very relationship good. until you're sure that this is the real thing. Some more parenting advice. Right. Right. Not the relationship, but just the leaving and coming back, you know. I have no idea what okay. anyone is talking about. <laughs> yeah, nobody so, has to know where so he's going. what time do you generally sneak out? Huh? I, yeah, there he goes saying ah again. Uh, I go at about I go at about uh, eleven and twelve. <laughs> of course, if I'm out for the evening earlier, that's fine. The biggest surprise is that you have a small house. <laughs> All right, listen, you two make a lovely couple. You All make right. a lovely couple, and I'm, I'm well. She makes a lovely couple. What will let you decide? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe oh. I'm making out again. Yes. Oh. On myself. On myself. Go ahead. All right. Well, you two are very very. Ah. Thank you, Howard. All right. Oh. And uh, to all our newly weird couples, thank you very, very much. Aren't your kids in their 20s, though? I mean, you know, do you really have to sneak out of the house? No, I shouldn't do it. You're right. I, uh, you just get this mental thing of them, you know, growing up and stuff like that. I don't know. You're right. I should be more open about it. Parents lecture kids about sex. And so they don't want to do sex in front of the kids. Well, I'm yeah. not saying have sex in front of them. I'm right. saying leave the house and say I'm... Are you nervous? I don't, want any, I don't want anybody to feel pushed. That's what I'm saying. You know. Push? Well, you know. I don't understand. Do you put a ladder outside the window? Right? No, Rob. out. Who are you pushing? <laughs> I don't understand. If you, are you yeah, afraid? The questions I'd ask, you know. Are you afraid that the kids will disapprove because she is the same age as the kids? <laughs> not, not bad. Do no, you not she's, want... Um, Go ahead, Gary. Do you not want the kids to see you taking Angie out of the trunk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's even closer. Angie, uh, would you like no. to meet his kids? Yeah, she's, I've met them. Yeah, oh, but you just sneak them. out. Yeah. I see. Oh, you don't want them to know you're going out. But they don't even live with you, do they? Well, I mean, they're over there often enough. So. I see. Okay, all right. 
All right, I don't know what's going on wrong uh, with you. I, we got to have a camera over there. Yeah. There's a no telling what's Might happening. have to have a reality show with you, too. <laughs> well, we got the wrap up show coming up. All right, maybe they can get to the bottom of it. I'm having a hard time. I don't know, I don't know if I should be happy for them or call the authorities. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever Angie, it is, surprises ever, to be happy. You know, we've never, yeah, have you ever been institutionalized? <laughs> <laughs> That's sure. Are you on medication of any kind? Not, not yet. Not yet. Give a time. We couldn't get Jim on the show this week, Robin. Go ahead. He's back there. Right, well, I'm happy for the two of you. I really, really am. Thank you. I guess I am. Right. <laughs> and I will prove it. She's coming. We want to see the show. Thank you, buddy. Hey, we you, really do. Are you a citizen? <laughs> <laughs> You're not one of those yeah, mail order She's going to be Swiss. No, she's fine. You're not a girl who's looking for citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just asking how to ask. You're right. not one of those That's gold digging whores who's after take for his money. <laughs> <laughs> Long way to go on that one. All right. Well, anyway, listen, thank you to all our couples. Thank it's you. a thank tough you. game to play. You all did well. We'll come back and uh, reconvene. Jose yeah. Canseco will come by and say hello. And uh, with so much more right after these words. Tell me what you think of this game. Uh, we had Evil Dave in here yesterday. And we asked Evil Dave to sing a part of a song. See if you can guess what Evil Dave is singing. All right. Tell me if you think this is worth uh, playing with a listener. I'll give you. I'll try it out on you guys. Here we go. Jen was gathered in the top self. Hell. <laughs> All right. Do you have any idea? <laughs> you love Evil Dave. <laughs> da, da, dee, dee, da, da, da. What could that be? Yeah. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> All right. I'll do it again. Artie, you could laugh at him all day, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I want to hire him just to like, follow me around. <laughs> Jen was gathered in the chalk self. Help! <laughs> Do you think this is a good game to play? Yes. Well, all right. I can't even I, understand what he's saying. I'm gonna put, that, that's the idea. He doesn't know what he's saying. I'm going to put up $500 from the good folks at Battlestar Who Galactica. Knows what that song is. By the way, Battlestar Galactica is back for the final season. Uh, the old new season premieres Friday, April 4th at 10 o'clock, 9 central. I've seen the first episode. It's fantastic. Check it out. It's on the Sci-Fi channel. Uh, let me uh, plunk down a phone here. Let's see. Uh, how about Irish John is on the phone? Okay, Irish John, how are you? Hey, Howard, how you doing? All right. Can you use 500? Absolutely. All right. You want to play the game? I'll give it a shot. All right. Listen again. I'll play it one more time. And tell me what... Evil Dave is singing. Jen was gathered in the top self. Help! <laughs> I get it one more time? All right. This is it, though. This is it. How many times can I play it? Come on. Jen was gathered in the top self. Help! <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is Evil with Dave? It's funnier. It gets funnier every time you hear it. All right. Go ahead. What do you think it is, Irish John? Sounds like a bad Bob Dylan, but... Go ahead. If you want to say Bob Dylan, what song? Uh... Lay Lady Lay. Lay Lady Lay. All right. As good a guess as that. That's as good as it. I don't know what that is. Da 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 I'm a fucking maniac. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, you have any, no one has a guess. Okay, no. let's see if Irish John is right. I'll play what he was uh, doing. General's gathered General's gathered in the shop. Oh, hey. Just, Just a witches wicked witch. Witches, witches at Black Master Hell. She will mind the fucking door. Just instruction. In the, in, the, fields of body in the fields of body circuit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of that song? I can't think of it. War uh, War yeah. War 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 from uh, Black uh, did those, Sabbath. Did those guys just throw a song at him, or did he really know that song? I don't know, but this is what he was doing. Holy shit. Well, you didn't you win. You would never even even guess that, Fred. No fucking way. Irish that, John, I still contend that's not the song. <laughs> would you like another? Would you like another sh stab at this game? Absolutely. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know that. I got it. Yeah, I think I know too. I got it. I don't know what that noise is. Is that Irish John's phone? John, is that your phone? No. Hmm. Got to be. Okay. Um, I know that's Led Zeppelin. Oh. Right, that's what I think it is. Yeah, too. me too. All right, that's that's close enough. Let's see. Let's see if this is uh, the right answer. Oh! <laughs> Did you get that one? Oh! I didn't. You know what? I'm oh. Distracted. I didn't hear you. Oh! I mean, it was with the 
Hey. I'm wrong, man. This is the part you should have played. Drive in the Chevy. <laughs> yeah. All right. a Chevy. You've won five hundred dollars from Battlestar Galactica. Thanks, John. Great, thanks, right. Howard. Hold on. He is a fucking. What is with? <laughs> what music did he listen he's to? He's retarded. Right. I mean, I just want to know how he's hooked up. <laughs> hooked up with a hot chick. I mean, people were writing emails. I read you some of them. I mean, they were ready to kill him and themselves and, and the entire planet because he had such a hot chick. Johnny, you're on the gunner, though. <laughs> Play your fiddle. <laughs> That's easy. You know that. I yeah. think it's a Bon Jovi song. No, I, yeah. I know exactly. Charlie Daniels. Man. I bet you had to say, yeah, Devil, Devil went, down went Down to Georgia. Georgia? Georgia? Really? Yeah. yeah. Johnny, Johnny wants some gobble 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 gobble. Play your fiddle. Johnny wants some gobble gobble. Because hell's broke George loose. And the devil. And the devil. You're pretty good at this. You're starting to. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> backwards. You're starting to vibe with the dude. It's from years of uh, yeah. people singing that drunken bars. It's not exactly the thing. Take cry hand. Take my hand. Often there is a oh, land. Man. Piece of cake. <laughs> what is it? Metallica. Take my... You think Enter that? Sandman. You think? Take my hand. Often there is land. Never land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off to nervous land is where we're going. Off to nerdy land. <laughs> well, I'm... All right, I'll give that to someone at home. Let's see if they can get it. I think I can get the group. Well, I'm... Let's go to James. James, hi, in Houston. Hey, uh, how, are, how are you doing today, man? Good, brother. Okay, you're ready to play $500 from Battlestar Galactica right here. Uh, I hope so. All right, let's see if you can get this one. Well, I'm... Do you think that's blind faith when I don't get my... No, I, I think, think it's back in black. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's back in black, too. You I was going to say ACDC. Yeah. Yeah. You want to say black, back in black? Go with Robin? Back in black, ACDC. Let's see if you win. There you go. You won 500 bucks. <laughs> All right, pal. You did it, James. Yeah, I'm here. All right, you won $500 from Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica is back for its final season. The all-new season premieres Friday, April 4th at 10 o'clock, 9 central on Sci-Fi Channel, okay? Yes, sir, and I just wanted, I just wanted to say, you know, uh, I hope you stay in the radio until your early 90s because, you know, we all love you out here on the road. We Thank love you. Robin. You know, Robin's most beautiful black woman I know of. <laughs> you know, Artie Lang, you know, you know he, he he's a comedian, but he needs to straighten up just like I do, you know. Uh, you know <laughs> just like Artie's he does. Three hundred. Artie's 300 pounds. I weigh 367. <laughs> <laughs> Art, Artie thinks you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think so, too. Well, James... I just I just don't want to listen to the Iron Shrek on, uh, you know, the radio. All right. Well, listen, James, thank you for the nice words. I'm glad you love the show and enjoy your $500. Hold on. Okay. All right. There's he, James, who's a big fan of the show. He weighs Ty Cobb's lifetime batting average. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! We done with that game, or you want one more? I mean, one get, it's done so with funny. it. Can I take it home? Yeah. Yeah. Out on the streets. Uh, that's where we meet. Oh, easy, easy. So what is it? Springsteen. Out on the street. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh. oh. wrong. Oh. Out on the street. <laughs> that's where we meet. Round and round. You make yeah. the night. Rah. I own the fucking. I own the hell. <laughs> we have to sell. Get in the right. Push on your side. Another day, another night. <laughs> Which one I get you? What's that to see him on? Uh, very nice. Okay. Bill, you're on the air. Go ahead and roam New York. Uh, Howard. Hey. Uh, hang on a second. Let me switch off here. He's oh, sure. Up. We've got nothing but Howard. time. Hey. It's, o it's always been a dream of mine to play a game with you. Yesterday you said you are going to play one. Oh, you want to play a game? Hell yeah. Oh, 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 I see. Uh... Okay, here, I'll give you a quick game. Why not? Why not to indulge this? All right. All right. This is a game where you have to... We gave Evil Dave words. 
and you have to guess whether he could pronounce them or not. Oh, it's the oh. Evil Dave game. It's a different Evil Dave game. <laughs> Not the musical Evil Dave game. <laughs> we had to guess what he's singing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna let you win five hundred dollars from Mangroomer.com, but this time you really got to get it right. All right, brother. I've I've, I've, just, I've made a decision for these games to work. Some people have to lose. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if he can keep this right. promise to him. The new Man Groomer is the essential do-it-yourself electric back hair shaver. Available at Bed Bath and Beyond and Mangroomer.com. All right. Got to give that to the Harry Moore guy. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Let me see. I'll give you the best out of five. The first word is magnesium. No way. So we wrote it down on a piece of paper, and we said to Dave, can you pronounce magnesium? But, of course, we just showed him the word. And you say no way, Robin? Yeah. See, that could be tricky. I don't know how he went to high school. Did he ever take a chemistry class? He might have learned that. You're going to say magazine. Magazine. <laughs> All right. That's a hard one. I don't Here know where go. to go with that. No, no way. <laughs> All right, Bill, you say that uh, Evil Dave can't say magnesium. Let's see. We put the piece of paper in front of him, and here's what came out of his mouth. Magnesium? Wow. Oh, you got it. High school chemistry, at least, he would have learned the elements. Bastard. Wow. <laughs> well, you got one wrong. Of course, you've got four more, and all you have to do is get three out of the four. All right. The next word we gave him was Demerol. Evil Dave, Demerol. Now, see, that's a pretty easy word, but I bet you can't say it. I bet he said demoral. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm going to go with you guys. I don't think he can read. Okay. Uh, de demoral? Yeah. See. Right. Okay, you now you're on the board. You're on the board. You got one right. One wrong, one right. The next word was excedrin. Popular Ooh. medication, Excedrin. But, you know, he, that, that's on, on TV all the time. That's on, he's got to know that one. You think he does? I, I think so, too. Yeah. I got all a right. feeling uh, after Cromwell yelled at him, he needed it quite a bit. So, all I right. I broad slammed him up a little. All right. Bill says he can say Excedrin. Let's find out. Ep Epidurum? Oh, Epidurum? Oh, oh, my Jesus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> all right. You got two wrong. Oh, he Christmas. Hey, answer this. i got to revise game for uh, J.D., too, if you want to play it. Okay. All right. Now, even I'm not sure on this one. Is it Wellbutrin? Wellbutrin? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Wellbutrin. He'll, if you can't really say it, he's not going to be able to I might have said well, Wellbutrin, but uh, Wellbutrin, can he say that? You say no. No. What do you say, Bill? I'm going to have to say no. Uh, well, a butrin. Oh. What do you think? You think that's right? You said, oh, well, uh. Yeah. Well, uh. You said, well, uh. Well, can we well, have right, a replay? Said. I'm going to give you that one. All right. All right. Well, uh, believe me. My that, man. That's pretty good for him. <laughs> no, right, I mean, so he had a whole two, two. It comes down to one word. You got two wrong, you got two right. Oh. Uh, it comes down to one word. Oh. Uh, What's the word? The word is Xanax. Now, Xanax no. is spelled with an X. X-A-N-A-X. -A -A yeah, I know, but he, you know. geez. But that's a popular, you know, you hear I that know, a lot. Right? I say there's no way on the planet this motherfucker could I don't say think Xanax. He could say Excedrin. Why should I care whether it's said a lot? Uh, Xanax, X-A-N-A-X, man, that's going to throw him. Yeah, it's got to. There's no way. I, th I, I would bet the farm on this one. He'll say Xavier Cougar. All right. You say no way, right? Yeah, I got to go with I do, you. too. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Eggs next. <laughs> All right. Exit. Hey now. $500 from right, man. mangroomer.com. The new man groomer is the essential do it yourself electric back hair shaver available at Bed Bath and Beyond and mangroomer.com. It's really kind of cool. It looks like a big back scratcher. It's, hey, Howard, thanks yeah. for letting me play, man. All right, brother. You got some money. Hold on, Bill. All right, man. See, look at Bill. Bill's walking away a winner. He's a winner. There's a lot of losers, but he's a winner. Ladies, there's a winner. There's a winner, ladies. Go date Bill. <laughs> All right. I'm sure Bill is getting ready for his huge job as the head of some corporation. <laughs> right, he's got to get to work. Just stopped off to play a little game. By the way, Evil Dave is missing. Gary called Evil Dave. Huh? He couldn't find him anywhere. I think at his job or 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 like that hot chick that he was with. They don't know where. They don't know what's going on. She's missing too. I don't know. Gary, what's going on with Evil Dave? So if anybody sees him, say uh, Gary's looking for him. What's going on there, Will? I was trying to book him for a segment in a couple weeks, and I uh, called his work, and they said he no longer works here. Wow. And he's been in that job forever. 
Right. And then uh, I tried calling his house. He hasn't returned any phone calls. You get a voicemail or something? Yeah, a voicemail. And then I, I left a message with his girlfriend that was in here and emailed her. And I know that Howard 100 News has been doing the same, and nobody can get a hold of him. Wow. Now, the girl, she worked at the same place or no? I think she did. But I didn't. You know what? Maybe she called to work and see if she's there. Yeah. But she's not answering her cell phone and she's not returning her email. So I don't know what's going on with them. Hmm. All right. Keep us. What posted. do you think that could be? We'll do. Uh, <laughs> let your imagination run wild. Really? Who knows? Uh, Dave, uh, where are you? Hi. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> request, but it's not a money request. So don't hang up on me. Okay. Uh, I was wondering if by chance you could play the uh, Evil Dave. Uh, the top ten list that Richard made for him. Do you remember that from a few months ago? I don't remember that. Fred, do you know what he's talking about? No, I'm not sure. I think Evil Maybe. Dave reads a top ten list, yeah. It, it's like, he, it, it's words that make no sense. Right. But it's like so funny to listen. They, they told him that it's, uh, that there were, that there were, terms that they use on the show. Okay, I know exactly what you're, you're right. talking about. You're talking right, cool. about we gave Evil Dave Just a bunch of things words. to read, yeah. and uh, of course none of the words made sense, and it doesn't matter to him. Was it the one where we were just hitting out uh, where Richard was just hitting out any thing? Remember he would just hit any key on the keyboard? Yes, and, and have him try to read it. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, do we have that, Richard, easily available? Easily available. Richard Christie, I call on you. This is totally impromptu. We know Richard's I apologize not about that. I mean, throw you guys off. You're throwing me off. I had 27 things to get to. We know Richard's not showering. All right, I well, have if you, if you can't get Here we go. I got it. Thanks for my staff, the my staff has it. Uh, top five reasons why I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. Uh, number five, her husband Bill is a uh, fry roll young uh, <laughs> uh, verse first foie. Uh, Javar Faraga Gonzava. <laughs> Number four, I love the smell of her cousin, uh, Nist uh, Kimva, <laughs> cousin, uh, Skimvitz, Kujitsovitsi. <laughs> Number three, because uh, Barack Obama doesn't know, uh, uh, Var Wanda Zaka from, uh, Varanza Skada <laughs> from, uh, Cucumbers. Let's see. Number uh, two, have you ever tried to drive a Mats Lagu Ziwa? Mats Lasker Lowitz? Mats Lu Ziwik? Mats Lu Guzova? And the number one reason uh, yeah. I'm voting for Hillary Clinton, I can't stand it when she's uh <laughs> Untheram Kazenskis? Yurthram, uh, Yurthram, uh, skit, uh, I can't stand when she's Untherez Rem, uh, Tizis. Yurthram Skittis. Hey, by the way, we spoke with Evil Dave this morning. He's okay. Oh, we, he so, is. They we, found him. We gave you a report yesterday. We tried calling him at his job. They said he didn't work there anymore. And we tried calling the girlfriend, and no one could find her. And Gary, when did you make contact with Evil Dave? Yeah, I was going to come in and explain. We'll spoke with him. Oh, I want to thank well. that guy for requesting that because that yeah, was a that good, was fun. That, that was, was a good bit. Good laugh. By the way, a lot of times we forget what's good, so you got to remind us. Yeah, go ahead, Will. He couldn't get into many details, but he said he's going through some deeply personal issues right now. Oh, get him in. Well, we can't. No, in fact, we wanted to book him for a segment on June fourth, and he said no. Wow. So, yeah. That personal and that deep, huh? That deep, yeah. What Such are they? Deeply yeah. personal. He wouldn't get into it. He wouldn't even talk to me about it. He just said, yeah, I can't, I can't do the show. Right you now. found him at home? He does a very solemn voice. Yeah, um, yeah I think he was at home. Yeah. Very, pers very personal. Uh, what are they, Dave?